Well, hello everyone! How are you doing today? Are you having a good time? A fun time? Perhaps some kind of good fun time combined together? Ooh, ah, hmm? What's on the queue today? We're playing the Deck Devastation Challenge, Kale. Have you been watching the Deck Devastation Challenge? Howdy, howdy. Hello, DTR. I've been known to devastate my deck from time to time. Yep, let's just collect the missions we can. May all your dust be fruitful. Well, hopefully today we won't be uh we won't be dusting so much. We've already we we spent last time getting as much dust as possible. Hopefully this time we'll be doing something else. Let's just go ahead and get rid of all of these. Yeah. Ready to get your way to Master 1 this stream? Unlikely. Practically impossible. I hate that I have to click on all of these to make the exclamation marks go away. Why must you taunt me with exclamation marks? The Baguska mate is actually pretty good. I need all the gems I can get. I'm trying not to spend money on this. This series. Especially since, unfortunately, it's still not doing very well. What if I say I didn't? That's, that's fine. You know what? Let's go ahead real quick. For those... Well, first of all, if you're watching on YouTube, hello. Today's weather, we had The Strength of a Tiger by I. Tay Stanis and uh, Beck Plus Call by July Talk. Just two nice songs. There's no theme when we get to the show. It's just what I what I like. What I like about you. Yeah, here for those of you who are unfamiliar. Destruction is a core mechanic of. Let's go ahead and play the intro for anyone who might not be familiar with what the deck dev challenge is. And hopefully that'll solve all the questions. Uh, let's see, window capture. There we go. Destruction is a core mechanic of the Yu-Gi-Oh trading card game. In every duel, cards are destroyed, either by battle or card effect. Sent to the graveyard, only to return unharmed in the next game. But what if they didn't return? What if the cards destroyed in a duel were actually destroyed? Or to put it in Master Duel terms, dusted. Would it be possible to climb the competitive ladder with a deck that is crumbling to dust in your very hands? I don't know, but there's only one way to find out. I'm Hardleg Joe, if in ya didn't know, and this is the Deck Devastation Challenge. Beginning from a fresh account, I'll kick off this journey with just 20 packs and the two starter decks you get for free. From there, I'll attempt to climb the competitive ladder from Rookie all the way to Master 1. Each time I win a duel, I'll get to open one new pack and craft a card if I have the dust. But win or lose, every card destroyed in the game is destroyed for real, forcing me to plan and build more strategically than ever before. Will I be able to overcome the devastation and reach Master 1 before the end of the year? Or will I only end up destroying my own sanity? Hard to say, hard to leg, but uh, you know, we won't know until we try, so let's go ahead and jump on into it. Let's just, uh, smash and ground? Bye. So there you go, chat. If you didn't know what we were doing, 
That's what we're doing. We are on week four of the Deck Devastation Challenge. It's been a fun time. Ninjas pray? No. Uh, we have decided that... Oh, I'm back down in silver. Okay. I forgot about that. It's a new month. Uh, but yeah, we've decided that probably the best route to go here is, um, Labyrinth. We're going to try to build a Labyrinth deck. Because I feel like the spell traps are less likely to be destroyed. Especially in the, the modern Labyrinth deck, a lot of the monsters and stuff are hand traps, like, that go to the graveyard. It doesn't have a ton of URs. So that's that's our plan for now. Maybe we'll end up shifting. I don't know. It looks like Lab... I, I, when I picked that, I was like, yeah, Labyrinth's a solid deck. It probably won't get hit anytime soon. And um, then it got hit really bad. Or then, then it, like, proved to be, like, the second or third best deck. So now I'm wondering if perhaps um you know we won't be we won't be able to do it. Maybe it'll get hit. Uh also I realize we don't really have a grinding deck. We need to come up with something entirely new. I got a right gecky. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so we need something... Something to build towards... Uh, what crawlers do I have? Lady Lab goes, oh, ho, ho. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, I guess this is all right. Oh, I already have three of it in here. Uh, World Legacy. We'll put the one in there. Is this probably good? I'm gonna go ahead and sort my monsters by attack. Monsters I have, actually. Five rainbows is gone. That's a plus. Yeah. Uh, uh yeah. I could try a synchro thing, maybe. What are my tuners? Also, I just realized we don't have music. I should turn the music back on. Seal goes crazy, yeah. So I'll explain this more in detail for the episode, but what we're trying to do is, last time we were just trying to farm dust now we're trying to actually, like, make a deck that can get a few wins so we can start opening, um, the, the Labyrinth stuff that we need. So, let's go for all our... Tuners? Tuners. Uh, that's not gonna be useful. Oh, uh, that'll be useful with this. Put that in there. Uh, return one face-up monster to the hand. Special summon this. We've got Plague Spreader. Okay, so... Maybe we go with that. 
And then let's see what synchros we have. Get, uh, get rid of traffic ghosts. Get rid of that. So we've got 11, 10. Can't make that. Eight, 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 eight. We mostly got eights. So if this is a three, we need like fives. Fives we can special summon. Do we have anything like that? Oh, uh, we've got that that works with our Ring of Destructions. Oh, we should go by level real quick. Yeah, things we already have. We can't we can't craft anything. Uh, this card is in your hand. You can target one Karakuri, change it to battle position, special summon it, but you're locked into Earth Machines. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll put Gizmek Yada in here. I think we'll get rid of the Crawlers. What's our nine? Not really great. Eight. Hmm. That might be funny. Oh, I don't really have a whole lot of fives. I have very many eights. Oh, I gotta put. Um, you cannot special summon except for light or dark dragon monsters. This is a sea serpent for some reason. This only works if earth monsters are destroyed. We don't have a ton of earth monsters and if we go on getting destroyed. No, that's not gonna work either. Ghost ship, it's only cards that we currently have. We can't craft anything. Let me look back at my tuners. I was thinking this was the best one because we have unexpected die. We could if we had like a level four tuner and we had special summoned level fours, maybe. Yeah, like what was our five? Just those three. Okay, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of Lance. Get rid of these two. Get rid of that. Uh, I don't know, maybe the synchros are a bad idea. Hello, 
Shadow Hunter. How's it going? I don't have a lot of ways to extend. Okay. Never mind. Forget that. We're gonna go for a different route. Oh wait, no, not even that. Um, what's it called? We just wanna look for four or lower and sort by highest attack. So we've got like three of those. That's like a one card. Well, Beans Man, gotta get them beans. Maybe we can do both. Let's go for what's it called? Unexpected die. Toon Warrior. Oh, uh, we no longer need this. We no longer need this. And we can make four, we can make sevens and eights because we got a couple fives. So let's look at our synchros real quick and the sevens and eights. Do we have like any sevens? Sure, it's something we can make. <laughs> uh, this lets us get a level three psychic monster. Do we have any of those? There it is. Hmm. Do we have a punk trap? Uh, real quick, let's add this too, just in case. Yeah, we do have Nichi Wachi Dori. Sure. Uh, I don't suppose we have any six synchros. We do. But we would never use this one. We can use this one, though. Get rid of Queen Dijin. Put in this. Full armor master. It needs a black wing. Yeah. I found your channel pretty randomly while working for Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff. I love your masochist run. Well, thank you. We're doing more of that today. I just forgot to build a deck last night. Um, yeah, we'll keep the seal in there for now. We could choose between the two. Uh, and then we just need more spell traps. Do I have any other good spell traps? Lightning storm.
Oh yeah, and we could probably put this in. Yeah, you know what? We'll get rid of that. Okay. I love how much stuff there is to learn, yeah. Okay. Y'all ready to begin? Let's get my notes pages ready. We're gonna I'm gonna keep up with the uh the thing of like reading a book gotta make sure people can see how silly this is mmm yes kitty cats oh hello there welcome it's uh it's another it's another new stri- <laughs> okay let's try this again mmm yes kitty cat oh hello there Hope you're doing well. You may have noticed new shirt, new stream. It's the fourth week of doing the, the deck devastation challenge, which means, you know, I, I got another episode came out. I got to see the, uh, the reaction to episode two. And based on that, we're changing the rules ever so slightly. Previously, it was a rule that if I surrendered before the animation played that destroyed a card, I got to keep that card. But I did that once, and people really didn't like that. So, we're making it a lit little bit harder that, uh... Ooh. Darn it. Okay. We'll try that one more time. Wasn't that the book with the talking cats? Yeah, it's a magical cat mystery. Mmm, yes, kitty cat. Oh! <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> you surprised me. Uh, you, you may notice I'm in a new shirt. It's a whole other week, you know. We're, we're back here again, week four of the Deck Devastation Challenge, which means another episode has come out on YouTube. I just got the, uh, the feedback from episode two, which means we're doing a little bit of a rule change. If you didn't see that episode, uh, we, we basically... Don't break anything. Yeah, I'm trying. Okay. As good as that, that goofy thing was, I messed up again. And I got beef on my cat book. Okay. Let's try this. Mmm, yes, kitty cat. Oh! Well, hello! Didn't see you come in there. Hi. It's, it's, you may have noticed I'm in a new shirt, which means it's a new week. We're on week four of the Deck Devastation Challenge, which means I just saw another episode go live on YouTube. We, we've got some more comments in. And, uh, based on that, I'm making a slight tweak to the rules. Uh, if you didn't know... Well, slight tweak to the rules. Previously, it was... Previously, it was established that if I surrendered during a duel, as long as the animation didn't play of a card being destroyed, that card was saved. So I could, um, okay. Previously, it was established that if I surrender, I get to keep whatever cards. As long as the animation for, okay. Previously, it was established that I could surrender it pretty much any time. And as long as I established before the animation actually played of cards getting destroyed, those cards were safe. Uh, in episode 2, famously, someone activated Dark Hole, and I very quickly surrendered before my entire field got wiped. And people did not like that. So we're changing the rules up. There are a bunch of different suggestions on how we should do this. Uh, and I think the best one for the pacing of the series is just that if I surrender, any cards currently on the field count as being destroyed. That allows me to like, if I see my opponent uh, doing a bunch of stuff and I know I can't win, I can just surrender. I don't have to wait until my turn. Um, if I know that they're building a bunch of stuff up, I don't have to actually sit through everything and wait for them to attack. I can just surrender whatever I want to to speed through it. But if I leave anything on the field, those cards get destroyed. The cards in my hand are still fine, though. So that's the new slight rule change. And other than that, I think the only bit of housekeeping we have is uh, there's one more ticket. 
I forgot to get this last week. I still have one of these uh, anniversary tickets, like the last one. So we get one more Royal UR that we can uh, open here, a random one that'll be undestructible, undustable, I think is the term I'm going for. And I, I don't know why I'm feeling this pack. Maybe this pack will be something good. Let's try it. It is the Adagnister pack. Okay, I have instant regret. I don't think this will have anything that we can do. Even if it does have an ultra rare. I mean, it's still a secret pack, so the first four could be anything. Who knows, get a Pankratops? Pankratops would be nice. No, it's Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum Dragon, which is a really cool, really nice card that only triggers when Odd Eyes are destroyed by battle or card effect, which means it's useless for this series, unfortunately. We got, hey, we got a Neos card. We've got like the Ready Fusion that lets us summon this out. So now we can summon a free level seven if we need to. Uh, Elixir, Prank Kids Pandemonium, and then a bunch of uh, Adagnister cards that are not of any use. And then one UR from that pack that's gonna be royal, but I doubt it'll be anything we can actually use. So we'll see. Crack it open, crack it up, crack it in, let me begin. I stand corrected. I forgot this was an Adagnister card. This is actually going to be incredibly useful. One of the best royals I've pulled in this entire thing. It's a generic rank four that can detach to pop a monster. I mean, it's not amazing or anything. It's no like Castell, but that's still something like being able to have this and have it not be destroyed, very good. So, okay, everything worked out better than expected. Um, what's the other one? Uh, if monsters would be destroyed by card effects, you could detach one material instead. So in addition to that, I can also save my stuff from being destroyed by card effects. So it actually protects other stuff in addition to itself. All right, feeling good about this. Let's go ahead and add that. I have a deck, deck uh, crafted up for today. So I'll add that in and then I'll explain what we're doing. Okay. Zero thirty six, dawn of the fourth week, plus opening the last special pack. It's our ace monster. Yeah. Oh, uh, ba 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 ba. Yeah, I think we can get rid of the Kachi Kochi. All right, so with that thrown in there, here's what we're playing today. As explained before, we're still going to try to build towards Labyrinth but we've got a long way to go there. We need to win a lot more, um, okay. All right, so with that in there, here is our deck for today. As explained in previous episodes, we are trying to build towards Labyrinth, but in order to get there, we have to open a lot more packs and craft a lot more cards. And to do that, we need to win some duels. Fortunately, we have the dust now. Oh, damn, okay, sure, okay, let's try it again. Take three. All right, so with that thrown in there, here is our deck for today. And as explained in previous episodes, we are trying to build towards Labyrinth. That's still the plan. I think that'll be the best deck here. And now that we have the dust, we should be able to like open the secret pack and start working our way there. Of course, first we have to win some duels, which means we can't keep playing the, uh, the grinder deck. We have to do something that can actually win. And I wanted to change things up a little bit, so this is what we're playing. I called it Synchro Beatdown, but now that I'm looking at it, it's probably like Synchro Ixy Beatdown? XYZ, there we go. It's basically like we've got a bunch of big level 4 monsters, we got a whole bunch of normal monsters, including a tuner and a level 4 with unexpected die. So we're hoping that like 
this will be enough to carry us with a whole bunch of our removal cards like Raigeki, Lightning Storm, Back to Square One, Ring of Destruction, the Dogmatica Punishment. I'm hoping all of this stuff will be able to protect our beaters. They'll be able to get in there quickly and just dominate the opponent. And then if we get Unexpected Die, or if we just survive two turns so we can summon again, then we have a lot of access to make good rank fours, like our new Ignister, like the uh, Dark Rebellion Ixie Dragon we pulled previously, the Exiton Knight, but also some of these Synchros that might actually do something. And we still got a suite of links that might do something as well. So that's, that's pretty much it. It's a bunch of removal, some normal monsters we can summon off unexpected die, and a bunch of beaters. And there's a couple little synergies. We're still playing the Speed Burst Dragon. I'm hoping to summon this off of Ring of Destruction. We've got the one punk card that can search the one punk trap. This is good even if you don't control a punk, but it's better if you do. And we're playing this because we can search it off of our level 8 synchro. So if we want to make this, we can go into that, search it, and you know, if this gets destroyed, we're not really losing a whole lot. This is not going to be, like, critical to any of our future plans. So let's go ahead and take this onto the ladder, and it's actually a new month. I don't think I mentioned this earlier. We're, we're, we're now in April, which means we've deranked from gold back into silver, which is frankly good, you know. Now we'll have some easier matches. Hopefully we'll be able to win one real quick and start opening those lab packs. Okay. Deck version six. First try, as usual. Thank you. Got a little critter in there. <laughs> doot, 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 doot. Find a secret pack. Rank reset. They're resetting your ranks now. Lady can't be destroyed. Big welcome to let you dodge. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. There's a lot of little synergies there. We can surrender if, they're, if it looks like they're going to hand loop us. Alright, I think we want to go second with this deck, because we've got, like, Evenly Matched and Lightning Storm and Raigeki, and if we draw any of those, we're gonna have- we're gonna want them on a field. That's like half of our win strat, right, is to just, like, hit them with mass removal and hope they surrender. Unfortunately, they didn't get any, but we did get our funny token card. Special summon a 0-0 token. It can't attack, and the opponent takes any battle damage it would have taken. So we activate this, we put it in attack mode, and then we're just like, it's silver. They won't read. Oh, hello. We're up against Fluffle. Fluffle may be a bit powerful. A bit strong. But they don't know how to play Fluffle, so we're good. <laughs> Draw a card. Another giant Rex. Okay, I'm not really worried about doing too much damage. Let's go ahead and Pot of Prosperity. Uh, let's just do three. We've already got pretty good stuff. Uh, what do we want to send? We probably don't want Crooked Cook. Uh, we're probably not going to use Exiton because it doesn't look like they're spamming. And I don't think we can even summon Link Karibo. Ring of Destruction. Back to square one. Lightning Storm. Let's take the Lightning Storm. It'll be funny. I forget if this is uncraftable or not, or undusted. Undustable. Uh, and yeah, we don't even really need it here. It's just there to threaten later. It's a normal summon flood, giant Rex. They got something, okay. Battle phase. Oh, I should have known. This giant Rex may not be long for this world. Mm. 
cruel whale, are they gonna pop it? Yeah. Well. Ripperoni. Goodbye, giant Rex. Someone write that down. Uh, do I want to continue my main phase? Yeah, let's continue the main phase. Okay, so from here... Let's go ahead and do this. Why not? Just summon a token in attack mode. And then we're going to wait for a moment, chat. Because I want them to think that I messed up. I don't want them to read... Oh. Damn it. They put the text of what the token does on the token. That was the big benefit of this, you know? Uh, when you played this in real life, you'd activate this and summon a token, and then they wouldn't look in your graveyard to read the spell. But now the information's right there. Okay, it's fine. We'll put the Ring of Destruction... They don't have a set card, and we don't have a punk, so I'm not gonna put this in danger. We'll just, uh, end here. Damn, the card says what it does. You don't have to roast me in the comments, chat. I mean, this card, it's a, it's a token. It doesn't do anything. It's just a metal fa fiend. All right, they're going for the Fright for Fusion. What could it possibly be? Is it just another shark? Hopefully it's shark, target the back row. No, it's Kraken. Well, you know what they say. You either get busy living or you get Kraken. I got one monster, send it to the graveyard. This card cannot attack directly. Okay, so we're gonna use this on the Kraken because I don't want to have to deal with it. I don't want to send my token to the graveyard. We'll both take 2,200. They did not attack the token. They know. Ooh, that's pretty good. And fortunately, I take 1,000 life point damage. Um, to maintain, pay 1,000. Yeah, we'll pay. We'll pay the cost for now. I'm good. I ain't afraid. Uh, do I put out another giant Rex? Do I risk losing another 2,000 beater here? They do have another set card. Do we know what this is? Yeah, it's just a toy vendor. So we don't want to blow that up because that'll just give them another shirt. A, s a search. Uh... Now, we can always summon it next turn. Adding an extra 400 to the, the duel doesn't do anything. We'll just put this down. Put that down. End our turn. Alright, what do you got next for me? Bucko. 
Buckaroo. Add one polymerization. Okay. Should look. We can beat. We can destroy something with 2,600. No, we got up to 3,000. Yeah, we're good. All right. Polymerization. What you got? I believe the tiger prevents them from, uh, the saber tiger prevents them from, like, uh, being destroyed. But this one can be destroyed. Oh. We can destroy up to 3,000. Well, fuck! Yeah, I think that may be it. Yeah, I can't target the other ones. And unfortunately, that destroys... I mean, it destroys it, but I use it before it destroys. I don't know if that counts. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and do this, and no, we lose anyway, even if we, um, bounce that back, I think. They just have another polymerization. <laughs> yeah, just the saber tiger, darn. After that first turn, I was really hoping they wouldn't know what they were doing, but, uh, that's what I get for thinking. <laughs> okay, zero, fifty, uh, dual, forty-two. Loss, 24. Destroyed. Unfortunately, we must commend to the graveyard Dogmatica Punishment and Giant Rex. Fortunately, these were both three of, so their losses won't be that bad, but we do have to replace them with something. for uh, attack, yeah. Yeah, we'll put that one in. And some other form of removal. Oh yeah, we have, um... Where's it at? There we go. Okay. Who's the biggest Yugi tuber you have in your networked web? I don't think I have like a networked web. I've talked, I've talked to Simo a few times. He's pretty big. Oh, 
Okay, so to replace... Okay, so to replace one of the giant wrecks, we've put in an alien shock trooper. It's another normal monster. It's got slightly less attack at 1900, but should fill roughly the same, same role. Uh, and then we put in our Phantasm Spiral Power as our other trap. Um, this is just good if you have normal monsters, and now we've got an exceedingly large number of normal monsters. If it gets destroyed, no big deal. This is version 6.1. Let's jump back into it. You've been caught in my networked web. We're allowed to use legacy packs. Diligence. All right. Normal monsters, Stryborg, more punishments that hopefully won't get destroyed this time. We're up against Diligence. They've got the Hero Mate and the Blackwing Face. Tunaful, is this Goaty? Is it real Goaty Hours? It is real Goaty Hours, all right. Well, you know, getting banished is not getting destroyed, so... You know, even if we, we lose, hopefully we won't lose that hard. They've got set up to do a couple things, but I'm not super worried about it. I'm wondering if I should even summon anything. I guess... I guess it'll get them to do something. Like... We could put out the Shock Trooper and threaten Battle Phase and then force them to activate some of their cards. And then maybe these spell traps will survive without getting banished. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Although I don't need to risk the shock trooper because all these things are lower. I could just put out Luster Dragon. This is an undustable card. Hello there. Oh, I don't even have to threaten battle phase. They're just like, a normal monster, run! <laughs> The Bicorned. Interesting. Why not banish the thing that gets an effect when it's banished? The unfortunate thing is I don't think this trap hole of spikes is going to do much. Because it has to, uh, it has, it only affects a monster that was summoned this turn that declares an attack. And they do most of their summoning during my turn. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll just end here. Oh, they're going for it. All right. Big fish. There goes all my traps. Uh, no. Or not. You know, they decided they didn't want to banish all cards on the field. You know, who needs to banish cards on the field, I guess? Uh, let me read this real quick. Uh, this, uh, targets a card, bounces it. Okay. Duskwalker. Time to be soupy! Ooh, from the hand. Yeah, this this probably seems like the best. We don't want them to get to a level six. 
So we can activate this, we can pop the Dusk Walker, and we can send the Cloud Beast. And then the Cloud Beast will return this to the hand. And then all that leaves is Supe out on his own. Oh, and Lifeless Leaf Fish. All right, but that was summoned this turn. So if I destroy it, I can leave them with nothing but tuners on the field. Let's go, Trap Hole Spikes. Take 750. Ah, Soupy! Okay, I really need my unexpected die now. That would be cool, please. No. I don't think this is going to be very useful, unfortunately. Okay, so shift comes back. Uh, so the thing is, if I leave the shift on the field and they draw any level four, then they can go into the level six. If I leave Supe on the field, they can't really make anything unless they play a level five. It sucks to leave this damage on the table, but I think this is the better move. Is to just hit this and hope they fade a draw step. Oh, they get another draw. They have to fade two draw steps. That's twice as many. Hey, they have a set card now. All right, going to defense. Uh, boo boo. All right. So now I can summon Toon Warrior. Toon Warrior can go into a level 7, which I don't have. <laughs> um, but it is more damage. Or I could do the Fantastic St Stryborg. Yeah, you know what? Let's, let's Stryborg it up. Uh, actually, let's attack first, because it doesn't matter either way. Attack over that. There we go. And then Stryborg. We can tribute a monster. And the monster returns to our hand instead. And then I can discard a card to return all cards in this column to the hand. Which I don't really want to do. I think we'll just do this and we can bait out whatever it is. Assuming it's not like MST or Twin Twisters. And it doesn't appear to be. Yeah, so let's just assume that whatever this is, they, they need something else to activate it. And let's just get this off the field before it gets destroyed. Evenly matched! Alright! I'm glad I took that out! Silent Angler, plus Abyss Shark. Uh, to do all monsters, you could special summon this, then add a fish from your deck to your hand. Shit, that sucks. Yeah, the thing is, I think they can go to Stealth Kraken regardless of what happens. Oh, they've got a Link. Oh, Abyss Keeper. Special summon one fish from your hand was own this point too. Okay. Send a fish from your deck to the graveyard. All right. What did they send? Just another shift. Um. Okay, so what we want to do is Ring of Destruction on this. 
because it has a level. If I leave this out, they can't synchro with it. Of course, they get to shuffle back three and draw another one. Uh, you could banish one fish from your hand or graveyard to add a goatee. Uh oh. Fuck. Well, I guess Fantastic Stryborg isn't as fantastic as I thought. If it had survived in next turn, I could have done something. My only hope now is they use this to banish it. Yeah! <laughs> All right! Stryborg survives! So at least there's that. At least I'm not losing anything. Okay, come on, Raigeki. Oh, punishment. Okay, they brought that back. Let's run out the Shock Trooper. Gonna make the Great Beyond again. Will they banish everything this time? Yes. The unfortunate thing is I don't have anything high enough to actually take that out with the punishment. I would need something bigger. So I think I'm going to have to surrender here, but we don't lose anything. Nothing was on the field when we surrendered because our opponent graciously banished everything we could want. So a loss, but not a big one. Duel 43, loss 25, no cards destroyed. Hi, hello, Wolf. Wolf 359. All right, slight change to the deck. I noticed that, um... All right, slight change to the deck. We lost that one partially because we didn't have anything big enough to hit with Dogmatica Punishment. And that's really our own mistake because the starter deck came with two five-headed dragon. That can hit pretty much everything other than like Pep and Pep's unaffected anyway, so. Okay, I don't even need to, I don't know why I brought up Pep, okay. All right, so very small change to the deck. We lost that one partially because, um... I need to rephrase it, okay. All right, very slight change to the deck. It's possible we lost that one simply because we didn't have a target big enough to hit a monster over 3,000 attack with Dogmatica Punishment. So uh, we're throwing in Five-Headed Dragon. The starter deck came with two of them. That should be able to take care of that. This is deck 6.2.
Yeah, the thing about there, there was a lot of things we could have done better in that deck or that duel. But I don't feel like we, you know, lost it entirely because even even if we had passed a turn, we wouldn't have had enough damage to defeat them. And their next draw was the Leaf Fish. All right, back to square one. We finally got the unexpected die. We're going second, right? Yeah, versus the Phil Master. No one knows Phil's better than him. You got a hole. He's there. <sighs> well, this is not looking good. If it's branded, uh, I think I'm just going to surrender right off the bat. I do not think I can beat... Oh, it's not branded. It's Cyber Dragons. I might be able to beat Cyber Dragons. Like, Silver Cyber Dragons. It's possible they're just not very good. Especially if they're playing Cyber Darks, perhaps. Oh, especially if they're playing the original Cyber Dark Impact. That is not a good card. <laughs> it's not a card that you want to play. Keeling over. Target one level three, equip that card. All right. So they got some stuff, boyos, and some things. But we can make a level eight. Level eight, or not a level eight. Um, hmm. We can make a link four. Not a link four. What am I? I'm a rank four. I don't think we want to risk our Dark Rebellion. I think this it's just time to bring out our Light Dragon. I think Light Dragon would be pretty good. Uh, first things first, I think I want I want to spin this back. Uh, because that'll fade a draw step with something near... Oh wait, no. If I spin that back, they could just use it again. I kind of have to destroy that. Hmm... Yeah, okay, we'll save the back to square one for now. We'll start with uh, Unexpected Die. We'll get... Oh, uh, let's get the Shock Trooper. The Shocker. And even though the Giant Rex has more attack, we're going to use that because it's safer. And also it can't attack directly anyway. And then we're going to make our Light Dragon add Ignister. Ignister! Slightly higher attack! And then we'll detach... to Papa Yu. There we go, that gets rid of that. And then we just attack over the uh, Cyber Dragon. There we go! So now we have the Dogmatica Punishment, that's a double removal, and the back to square one next turn. All right, that's what I like to see. Set it and forget it. All right, that's less what I like to see. Uh, people in chat are saying that they're playing the structure deck and now I'm like, did the structure deck have torrential tribute in it? Well, that's pretty good with our normal monster. 
Uh, this can detach to destroy a face-up monster my opponent controls. All right, so let's just normal summon the Luster Dragon. Go to battle phase. 1900. 2300. Easy peasy. We'll play this in the non-imperm column. And then if we, if they don't, if all we gotta do is have them fade another draw step. And I mean, we've got the punishment to take out whatever they do summon, so I think we got this. The field spell. I feel like that doesn't help you here, sir. Just pass it on over. Come on, let, let me have it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right. It took a few tries, but we finally got a, a deck that feels like a silver deck. They've got something they can activate. I have no idea what it is. Hopefully we just nothing. Nothing? Okay. There we go. Got it. Done. Finally. <laughs> okay. 115. Duel 44. Win number 16. Hey, two legacy packs. Yep, it was just the starter deck. I have Duelist Cup rewards? What did I do to earn those? I didn't even play in the Duelist Cup. I mean, there's 13? Okay. Okay, so. All right, so we get a craft and we get a pack, but first we should open some of these legacy packs because I haven't done it in a while, and we've got like 13 of them. So we're not even going to go through them one by one. We're just going to skip open this. Just a, just a whole bunch of stuff. Beast King of the Swamp. Uh, Power Invader. If your opponent controls two or more monsters, you can normal summon this. And we've got like uh, Mech Knights that are better than that. We've got like the worst Monarch. If this card is tributed, you could target one card on the field and destroy it. That might be good. We've got that trap that like tributes a card to destroy it. So this would be two with those, with that. I mean, assuming we get two. Uh, useless, another Noble Knight card. Berserking, Wall Shadow is like useless. Uh, send a continuous spell to destroy one spell trap. I don't know how I'm even gonna summon that. Send this card to reduce the level of, no. No, not doing that. Bad Ice Barrier. Man with big stick, of a big fist on stick. So, you know, not even gonna read that one. Uh, any battle damage you take is halved. Oh, why, thank you. That's your, your, your neck's not doing good there. We got uh, Ushi Oni, a bull fiend restored by dark arts. Some, a white dolphin with a horn. It summons tidal waves. Good to know, man-eating treasure, uh, under, ever-living underworld, the fucking option hunter and bug emergency. Okay, so nothing there. We got three more. Let's just go ahead and crack these open real quick. What do we got? 
Uh, Orient Dragon. A level six. We do kind of need those. If it's Synchro Summon, target a Synchro and banish it. Uh, maybe if Synchros become meta, I mean, we might put that in there. Motor Frenzy. A level six. If it's summoned or a machine is summoned, you can activate this effect until the end of the turn. That normal summoned monster gains attack equal to half of its defense and its battle position can't change. If this tribute summoned card is sent to the graveyard, special summon two tokens. Somehow I don't think that'll be all that useful. Reaper on the Nightmare, we got a, a spirit monster, we've got a sunlit unicorn. Can add an equip spell, you know, if we want those. And th this is our second block spider. So if this card is special summoned, you could special summon a block spider from your deck. We now have two of them. I have no way to special summon this, but if we ever did, well, then we could use it. Okay, let's get to the real event. Oh, what new mission did we get? Hey. Another deck slot. Um, okay. Uh, what is transaction rollback in? It's in the newest pack. Fuck, do we open this while we're here? It does have Book of Moon. Okay. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's use our SRs first. All right, so we get one new pack and one craft. Um, okay. All right, so since we won, we get one pack and one craft, and we're gonna do these in reverse order because we need to unlock a pack. Uh, and I think I'm gonna start by using our SR points. We have more of those, and we'll just craft one of these Ariana's, the Labyrinth Servant. And since it's our first time crafting something from this pack, we get one free pull, so our pack won't take any of our gems. I don't want to spend the money on this this series. It's not very popular, uh, at least not at the moment. So we'll go in, see what the hell we get. Our first pack of the trap in the wicked castle. Huh. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like. Oh, oh, oh! Getting a yellow in there. All right. We've got Gilta the D Knight. If you control no monsters, you can normal summon this without tributing. When this card is normal summoned, banish one monster your opponent controls with attack equal or higher than this card. You can discard this, add one of these. Wow, that's going into the deck. I could, I could just banish a monster? Sure, why not? And it's a level five, which means if I get that with uh, with the Toon Warrior, you know, I, I mean, it wasn't, it ne I'd have to be like next turn. I can't use this with unexpected die, but... Yeah, it's pretty good, and I'd have to see if we could search anything. Maybe, probably not, but either way, nice addition. We got uh, the Cardboard Box Dragon, which is for Cyber Darks. Uh, D Counter. Uh, Trickstar Bella Madonna, which is two Trickstars, not doing Okay, what Labyrinths do we get? Another Ku Clock. Labyrinth Setup, one of the not good Labyrinth cards. I. <laughs> And Sentence of Doom. All right, so not looking great for our Labyrinth deck, but we do have something we can put into the regular deck, so there's that. And now that the pack's open, we can, we can do that every single turn. Every single time we win, at least. Crafting Ariana. And opening a lab pack. Uh, Gilta. 
guilt. All right, what do we take out for this? Fortune Fairy is a level 5, we could special summon. And then if we have the Toon Warrior, we just go off from there, King. It's level 6. Fair point. Is that all we're doing? Yep, that looks like it. All right, it almost doesn't feel worth it to come back to this screen just to be like, we put guilt in, but we put guilt in. Let's get back to dueling. <laughs> oh, okay, actually. All right, it almost feels weird to do a deck update for this, but I feel like I should show you every change we make. We took out the, uh, the fortune fairy that was in here. Okay. All right, it feels kind of weird to do a whole little deck profile segment for, for, uh, okay. My very soul spear. All right, so we took out the, the fortune fairy and we put in guilt of the D-Knight. That's it. That's the only change. Back to duels. <laughs> And then it cuts to portal. This was a triumph. High stakes silver battle. Uh, I still want to go second. We haven't opened any of our go second board breaker cards, but when we do, oh boy, we're going to be ready for them. Oh boy, were we ready for him. We got ourselves an evenly matched. Evenly matched plus unexpected die, so we can like go into a level six synchro or a level or a rank four Ixie. Or we can just put out a 1900 beater and be like, you know, stop my dragon. Let's see what you got, Alpha Jeff. Two, come on, you could set more than that. Ah, ancient warriors. Now, ancient warriors do have a spell trap negate, and that might be a problem for us. But I don't think they expect to go first. Unfortunately, you know, if they just end on on Lu Bu, uh, that's that's like more than enough to like conquer our entire deck. But maybe they'll get upset that evenly matched happened and just quit from there. You know, that's that's always a possibility. Oh, there we go. That deals with the Lu Bu. We don't even want to put a monster out because it'll just destroy it immediately. Oh, you got something in the standby? What do you got? Nothing. Okay. Battle phase. End of battle phase. Go evenly. Destroy their field.
All right, all according to plan. And then we just set the punishment, right? Uh, I don't think we want to set this. And we don't want to summon a monster, so yeah. There we go. All right, Alpha Jeff, show me what you got. Uh, okay, let's see. If your opponent controls more monsters, you could send one from your hand to the graveyard, but they don't have one. When attack is declared, all right. Let's wait for the battle phase. Okay, battle phase, and then we just dogmatic a punishment. Just pop you. And I guess we'll send a five headed dragon. All right. They got their Luzon. Not afraid. Oh, Bistial Sorenir. That's a bit of a problem. Hopefully they aren't playing like any of the bestial spell traps though. Okay, we could deal with this the same way we deal with with everything else. Oh boy, another unexpected die. We really need a level seven synchro. That would make this a lot better. Okay, let's get a little unexpected. Uh, shock trooper. And then we'll Luster Dragon. I forgot. I forgot that Unexpected, or that uh, Dogmatica Punishment locks me out of the extra deck. That might have been something to remember. Now if I lose this Alien Shock Trooper, I'll just, I'll just be sad. Oh, uh, sure, we'll set this. I need to remember that about punishment. It doesn't just punish my opponent, it also punishes me. Hopefully this is a spell trap. They just set it and we're fine. And hopefully they'll attack the Luster Dragon so I can keep my Shock Trooper. Yeah, thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. Now, of course, we don't have a good way to out this because this is like our only level three. We need to draw another level four. Well, there you go. Ask and ye shall receive. All right, go Giant Rex. And yeah, we're just staying with the safe bet. I think we could make the Vespinu, but we don't have any darks in the graveyard because they banished our only one. Okay. Go, Ignister! Show off your royalness. Pop the card of eternity. Eh. There we go. Oh wait, do they actually have something? Oh, they have Lubellion. The fuck? I thought they were just playing like a handful of bestials inside this clearly um, ancient warriors deck. I didn't expect them to have a whole bestial package.
Please just set a back row. I feel insta I feel very worried that this is out here. I don't want to lose this before we get a chance to actually search it. Ah, uh, Guan Yun! <laughs> no! That's better, Pankratops! <laughs> and I can only stop myself from being destroyed by card effects, not by battle. Fortunately, this is undustable royal, so we're good. In the sense that, you know, we're not dead. Or that it's not destroyed forever. Um, okay. I didn't even think to put in the uh, uh, rank threes. So what can I make? I can make Mighty Warrior with a Toon Warrior and this, which doesn't have enough attack. Oh, I do have a level seven, which doesn't have enough attack. And that's it. <laughs> Uh, I could, I could put out Nightmare Cerberus, but if they drew another Lu Bu or another Guan Yun, we lose that forever. And I kind of like being able to have that. Most of the, the ancient warriors rely on your opponent having more monsters than you. Do we just set this, maybe? Uh, I'll just pass. All worried for nothing. I mean, granted, if they have another Guan Yun in their hand, that might be why they're not summoning it. Man, I could use one of these. Why not me? Luster Dragon. Okay, that gets me access to another level four. Do I dare invoke the Dark Rebellion? I think it's worth trying. Let's go. Oh wait, do I have any level 4 normals left in the deck? Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Never mind, it doesn't matter. Nothing really mattered. Anyone can see. Uh, we'll just set... At this point, the only reason I'm staying in here is that I hope I get a chance to use this. If I surrender while it's on the field, it gets destroyed, and I don't want to do that. I could just lose the duel. I think if I lose, my cards aren't destroyed. They have to be destroyed. I think that's a fair thing. And this is an undustable card from the, uh, the starter back deck. So it don't count. Oh, hello, Ma wait, Madam Spider, you say? Hmm. Okay. We're gonna try this, chat. End turn. No, come on, it's my birthday. 
Why I gotta have more stuff? Ah! <laughs> well. I mean, either way, I'm losing this. Oh, wait. Activate this. Pop Guan Yun. Uh, you can target a monster. Its attack becomes halved. I don't think I could target any of them. I could try. Yeah, you're halved and destroyed. <laughs> There we go! Okay, you know what? We're not winning this duel, but I managed to save both of the cards! <laughs> both of the punks are still here! One forty duel, forty five. Win 17. Oh, wait, no, that wasn't win 17. Loss. Wait, did I get these mixed up? Yeah, somehow I... Mix these two up. Lost 26, I believe. Yeah, lost 26. No cards destroyed. That was a moral victory. Yeah, there's a bunch of people. Why didn't you activate the trap earlier? What would that have done? <laughs> what would that have accomplished? Did you know that they had the, the big guy in their hand? Joe is bleeding first, making him the victor. But even, let's say, let's say that, um, you know, they didn't have the guy in hand. If they didn't have the 3k guy on board, what happens then? Well, I destroy the Guan Yun, but they keep the other monster. They run over my Madam Spider, so I lose her forever. And then I still probably lose the game. <laughs> Did you see if you had any guilty targets? No. I'm not concerned at the moment. It's a one of. Oh. What? They probably 1v1. Yeah, I guess it halves the monster. I forgot it did that. I think they still had more attack than me, though. Don't see that every day, chat. So it'd be a trade, yeah. It was late enough in the duel that I felt like I wasn't going to win either way. So I was just trying to find a way to preserve both cards if possible. Hey! 
Look at that, we got a lightning storm, we got an unexpected die, we got the new Gilta card, Luster Dragon, we got choices. We can make our level 7 Synchro, we can make a rank 4, we can blow up everything. Fucking magnets, how do they work? Uh, let's see, if this card is sent from the graveyard... Banish three, special summon one. All right, but what if it wasn't sent to the graveyard? Oh, uh, I'm tempted to let them do more stuff so that I can like evenly lightning storm them. But if I let them go for too long, They'll get out the negate and destroy guy, and I don't want to have to deal with that. Do we risk our Gilta? Uh, with equal or higher attack. Okay, it doesn't have higher attack. Uh... Yeah, we'll just set this, blow up their set card. Next turn. Hopefully they won't have a ton of stuff. And then we can just, uh, you know. Then we can go from there. But we need them to have bigger cards. It's just MST the back row. Called by? Okay, well we had nothing to worry anyway. Sixteen hundred? Okay. Nothing. Uh, what's our level seven do again? We found out we did have one of these. This card inflicts battle damage while they have four more cards in their hand. Place one card on top of their deck. You know what? Let's go for it, chat. We haven't synchroed yet in this series, and it's about darn time. Go Toon Warrior. Go Luster Dragon. Put them both together to make X Saber Urbellum. Womp. Synchro Shokan. What, this doesn't have a summon animation? And then we'll just make them stack one of their cards. There you go. I wonder what they're drawing, chat. Wait, did this miss the timing or something? It was sent to the graveyard. Oh, they have to banish exactly three. Oh, okay. For some reason, I thought it was up to three. Yeah, so if they can't put up a defense... I can just keep resetting that the card over and over again and they'll never get a new draw. <laughs> oh no! Sage Slayer, I'm sorry! <laughs> They're getting Yada locked at home. It seems like they've got something. So they could potentially get rid of one of the cards in their hand and get a new draw. So let's do this. All right, put another one back. <laughs> um, oh, I can activate this after I've done battle damage. Neat. Oh uh, yeah, let's see if we can get a good trap here. I've already gone out of the X, there we go. Hey, X Saber Urbellum. We've got Yada at home, baby! Ha-cha-cha-cha-cha! <laughs> and with that, we rank up into Silver 4. Doubly nice. <laughs> Duel 46. Win 17. No cards destroyed. Um, thanks to Slash Slash for the gift sub. Oh, well, thank you, Maple. 
Sorry, I didn't see you earlier. I was focusing on the duel. Progress is slow. Yeah, it's slow, but we're getting there. And there was someone saying, um, I don't know why this series isn't more popular. Me either, you know? <laughs> I really, I, I'm trying, I keep trying to, like, get more people. Maybe I need to just be like, you know, just call it a masochist series so people will watch it. Hard to say, but the episodes are not doing great. I still have hope that people, because I think you, I feel like you can join on at any point. And there is, every time I upload a new episode, the first episode gets a noticeable bump in views. So I'm hoping eventually people will get on board with it. But currently, the newest episode is sitting at a 7 out of 10. At exclamation mark YouTube. One of the Legos wants to put the uh, the YouTube link in the channel. I'd appreciate it. We I don't use bots here. I can just ask people to do stuff. The community's small enough and friendly enough. Give it a theme song. The thing is, I want anyone like if they want if they tune in on episode ten or whatever, I want to have that explanation that says what the the challenge is. Uh, I feel like that's part of the key to success to how like. Simo operates, you know, it doesn't matter what what uh what episode of history of Yu-Gi-Oh or the progression series you happen to find, uh you're going to be getting um that that same explanation. You could refer to it. The episode 2, I was like on the thumbnail, I've mixed a Nuzlocke with a Masochist series. And that one got less views than the first one where I just called it the Deck Devastation Challenge. And then, like, on the thumbnail, I was like, uh, you know, Master Duel, Hardcore Mode. The third one, I was like, Yu-Gi-Oh! with Permadeath. I'm trying all these terms to get people to come on. Do you use the same tags? YouTube doesn't let you tag your own videos anymore. Now it basically, like... Had the same bot that looks over everything and auto-generates captions will add tags to your video based on, like, different elements of it. Love the Time Wizard thumbnail. Thank you. I thought it was neat, too. Well, political videos don't get very many views on YouTube. Oh, whoops. Uh, okay. So, I kind of want to save... I kind of want to save my SR and UR points to unlock the, uh, the packs later on. So I don't think I want to craft, like, a lady or a transaction rollback or anything like that. I think I know what I'm going to do. Oh, first of all, let's get these missions. I can't just receive all because one of them is a deck, and if I add those cards into my pool, I won't remember which ones are the starter deck. Hey, there we go. Yeah, it's this. If I collect this reward, I get a deck. And I asked people in one of the streams, but that episode is yet to be uploaded to YouTube, so I don't know what they're saying. Okay, so let's go to the shop.
All right, another win, which means we get another... Uh, okay. All right, another win, which means we get another... Pff, uh, okay. Another win means another chance at the Labyrinth Pack. Let's go back into the maze and see what we can get. Okay, no more URs yet. We'll get them eventually. We've only opened two packs. I mean, oh, there's an S. Oh, it's in the wrong side of the pack. All right, let's see. We got Silent Swordsman level five, Galaxy card, White Tiger Summoner, Special Summoner level four, lower normal from your hand. All monsters you control gain 100 attack and defense. Okay, that's useless. Uh, what Labyrinth cards we get? Backjack, a Royal Backjack. Well, Hot Diggity Daffodil. Unfortunately, this is a card, like, designed to be destroyed, but, I mean, we'll get maximum SR points. So, at least we got that. We got Flower Dino, funny card. Another Sentence of Doom. And Doom Dog Orthos, pretty nice. Okay, what's our known SR? It's a... <laughs> Two Royals? What is it, my birthday? They're just gonna give me back-to-back -back Royals in the same damn pack? Holy fuck! What are the, what are the statistically what are the chances of something like that happening? <laughs> Double Royals, Magic Key Mech Mortar. I don't think we'll be playing Magic Key. Who knows? Maybe I mean we do have a lot of normal monster stuff, so maybe maybe at some point. Uh, nothing to really improve the deck so far, but at least we got some more SRs and stuff, some neat little little royal things. The problem is, like, even if I wanted to destroy this, some, I'd summon it in the first place, which is going to be very, very hard. The backjack's probably not long for this world. Uh, opening another lab pack. Uh... This gave me- seeing this earlier gave me an idea, chat. take out though yeah I think we remove the stripe work all right as for our craft I only have enough UR and SR points to get one more of each I'm holding up two two fingers okay all right at, okay I need to stop starting things with all right as for our one craft, I only have enough points left to make one UR and one SR. And I want to be able in future episodes to unlock the lab pack again by crafting one of those. Plus, we're still going to be going into that, so I don't want to craft a whole bunch of lab cards. I'd rather get them out of the packs themselves. So instead, I'm going to make use of all these R points we have and craft something that will help this version of the deck. Specifically, the Loyal Guan Yun. We're already on a hard go second deck with a whole bunch of like go second staple cards. Uh, might as well put in Pancratops at home. It's an easy R generate. We don't mind that much about losing it. And it should make us a little bit more effective. This is replacing the uh, Fantastic Stryborg, which was a neat idea, but not all that great. So this is deck version 6.4. Oh, oh, one more thing. I almost forgot. One second. Uh, do, do, do. what else do I take out? We don't need both of these. Uh. Barone de Fleur. 
This is a level 7 special summon, so if we get this and we've already got a Toon Warrior in hand, we can actually make the Baron that we got earlier. And I'll probably be crafting more of these as we go, just to try to see what we get. So there we go, let's jump back into silver. 159, uh, deck version 6.4. Just gotta hope it never gets destroyed. Stryborg wasn't that fantastic. I mean, they were a fan. Yeah, we just have to, when it comes to the, um, the Barone, we gotta make sure we only summon it when we've got game. Uh-oh. They're making me go first. What is this, Makanko? I certainly hope not. They've got a 60-card deck. No, 49? 49 cards? Uh, alright, let's see what we can get. Let's use all six. What the hell? Uh, we'll get rid of this. This. Three, four. Uh, five, six. I'll expect to die. Call the haunted. Raigeki. Ooh, a lot of tempting things. Uh, punishment's not as good when they know you have it. They made us go second, so they might do something. Okay. So, as good as... as uh, not as good, but as fun as the uh, Madam Spider with this has been, we, we seem to be drawing it every time, and I'd rather get some other stuff. So, you know what? Let's just run this out. It's time is at an end. If they've got like a Raigeki or a Lightning Storm, they can go ahead and use it. I don't I don't care anymore. But if they use this thinking that it's the uh the punish oh. Red Eyes Fusion. That's a that's a big monster. They got the gear freed and that. So, Red Eyes Slash Dragon. All right. Target one, equip it. Well, what if it wasn't there anymore? What if I popped it before you could equip? And halved its attack, just for good measure. Oh, it goes to the graveyard? Do they get that effect? No, it has to be sent from the field to the graveyard! Ha cha cha da 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 Oh, and chat. Madam Spider is a level 3 tuner. And would you look at how many cards they have in their hand? Wouldn't it be a shame <laughs> if something were to come along and stack one of those cards back on top of their deck? That would just be a damn shame, wouldn't it? <laughs> We're doing it again, baby! <laughs> I am the monster of silver! <laughs> okay, then we'll set the punishment. <laughs> Chat's like, stop, he's just a boy! I wonder what he drew. Could be anything. Now, of course, they can stop this from activating by just having one less card in their hand. If they literally, like, set a monster, then, then it's done. But they're not going to set one! They surrender! Yada at home comes to roost once more! And we get ourselves another pack, baby! <laughs> Okay, duel 47, win number 18.
No cards destroyed. Um, Echo. If you can find a render of Yadagarasu to use as a gag, maybe insert it in the corner with glowing eyes or something. It will be useful again. <laughs> Okay, we get some more points. Yeah. All right, it's been a little while since we opened our Arby's gift cards. Let's go ahead and put another five of these into the thing and see what we get. Um... I think it's a rank 4. It only has 2100 attack, but it's undustable rank 4. It shuffles cards in the graveyard back, so there's that. Uh, if your opponent's monster declares an attack, banish this from the... It's a Phantom Beast card. Uh, I know this is useless. Hey, we got Malevolent Catastrophe! If we ever need to dust our own cards, this will actually be useful. When an attack is declared, destroy all spell traps on the field. This is going to let us dust our UR spell traps that we can't activate. So we can get more dust later. Uh, we need more of them, of course. But at least there's that. Uh, what was that again? The battle position has changed. Okay, that does nothing. Normal monster. This is like one of the most useless cards in the history of the world. Just, just see one card in your opponent's hand. I guess if they only have one. Uh, double Defender doesn't do anything. Summon over. Each time a monster is summoned, place a summon counter. Max six when there's six. Um, this card with six counters can't be destroyed by card effects at the start of each main phase. If it has six counters, the turn player can send this card to the graveyard and send all special summon monsters their opponent controls to the graveyard. I don't think that'll be very useful. Battle Mania, that's another card that, like, if we want to, if we want to dust stuff, we can force them to attack us. But other than that, nothing particularly useful. Okay, that is... RB skipped cards. All right, let's open another lab pack, see what the hell we get. Can we get a UR this time, maybe? No. I mean, last time we got two Royals, and it didn't look like it, but uh, this time, not so much. We got a Six Samurai, got a Springins card, Light Ray Greffer. I don't think that does anything. Jirak, a Fair Welcome Labyrinth, which is not great, but if we make, like, a casual Labyrinth version, if we get enough cards to make, like... A non-meta thing? We might actually use this. Another Ku Clock. I got a Soul Scissors and another Ku Clock. This is one of those cards that's like really good, especially in the lower ranks, but um, it only gets its effect when it's destroyed. So maybe we'll put them in if we get a bunch of them if we want more endpoints, but otherwise I think we're good. As for our craft, I think you know what we're doing. Um, Yada Garasu is a UR. Okay, for a second I was like, do we, do we make, we could make actual Yada. <laughs> that would be funny. Um, bear, I have a barrier statue of the abyss already. <laughs> Um. 
We're just gonna get that dang old second Quan Yun. Two of them things, two of them things. Hopefully this doesn't turn out to be a waste of like R points or whatever. But I think having a second one, I'm not sure if we'll go necessarily for a third, but still pretty good. Make this slightly more consistent. And I guess this technically makes this version 6.5. So let's jump into it. Oh. Uh, opening a pack and then crafting another Guan Yun. Yeah, I am open to ideas if there are other normal and rare cards you think I should craft chat. There's a big gap in the center. Sorry. Is the Watt Yada? What Watt Yada? We got another duel. We're going second, but based on the name, I think we I think we may just have a free win. I think it may just be free win hours. Good old good old bot game. I mean, they do have like a mate and like a symbol or whatever. So maybe they're not, but I guess we'll find out. Um, what was it? If you're gonna suggest normal and rare cards, I need more monsters that are good. All right, this doesn't appear to be a bot. They played Gladiator Beast Lanista. I don't think I need to max C here. Test Tiger, special summons by effect. Uh, all right, they're ending their main phase. Okay. So, 1800. Just, we go, just go in with 1900. Most Gladiator Beasts can't beat over that. Be like, but mine is bigger! Ha ha! All right, sounds good. And then if this survives until next turn, we can tune warrior. That's a level three, three and four make seven. I think you know how that goes, chat. You've been here before. Will I bully another silver player? <laughs> Zombira the Dark! I wonder if this is like a masochist deck now. At first I thought it was like a lame gladiator beast, but like... Maybe they're just using this as an 1800 beater. Well, that stops them from getting Yada locked. Uh, yeah, we're good. Sucks to lose that, but... You know, it's it's an it's an undustable card, and this is something we really don't want to back to square one it because then they'll get the twenty one hundred attack again. All 
All right. This Maxi ain't doing much. <laughs> lightning Storm. Do I really want to use Lightning Storm on this? No. One, two, three, four, five, six. It doesn't look like they're doing anything with any amount of speed. I'll just let them commit more stuff to the board and then I'll Lightning Storm it. And then, I don't know, get in with Toon Warrior. Hopefully next turn I draw something that has a little bit more staying power. Okay, so they do have more than one gladiator beast. Um... Yeah, I'll wait for them to attack. I'm probably not gonna get much off of this maxi, but I could at least get like one card. Get it out of my hand and shi uh, shuffle through something. Cycle through something. Oh, I guess I should have max seed earlier. They're just making some kind of link. Yeah. Two sides. So, Eve, the World Chalice Priestess. This has less attack than the combined those two. Oh, but Zombira can't attack directly, so I guess it's worth it. Battle phase. All right. Yeah, just getting an 1800 beater. I mean, my deck is full of like 1900 beaters. So if I draw something, I can get rid of this. If not, I think I'll use the lightning storm because I still have evenly and tune war or evenly and back to square one. All right, let's see what we get for a draw here. Roll them up. Call of the Haunted. That brings back the Luster Dragon. Yeah, okay. We just wait then. Oh no! Why did I do- I misclicked! Fuck. Um, that is, that could be catastrophic. Okay, they've still got a monster on board, so they can't lightning storm me, but if they feather dust me, I am going to be unreasonably upset. I thought I clicked on the call of the haunted. Could just surrender. If I surrender, it's on the field. <laughs> Any card on the field when I surrender is destroyed. Now I have to win this one. Or I guess if I lose and it's on the field, then I'm fine. I just don't want them to destroy it. Garoth, the Light Sworn. Um, you know what? I'm gonna max C here. 
Right now, neither of these can get over my Luster Dragon. So if they want to make something bigger, they'll have to do that. Okay, good. Battle phase. Go to attack. And I can be like, a no, no, no. You see, I have a bigger monster. Bigger than both of yours by a tiny amount. Huh. Why would you crash that? What's going on here? Why would you do that? Are you going to evenly me? Did you do that so you could you could use the feather dust or lightning storm? Three lights in grave? No. They have a light and a dark. All right. Maybe this is a bot after all? Question mark? Uh, either way, chat, you know, if they didn't do anything there, there's a chance that they don't have an out to this. Uh, I can't believe I'm able to do this three duels in a row, but here you go. Once more, Yada flies on in to be like, hello. I've changed a little bit in the past few years. Go ahead and put, put one back. Okay, now you can draw something. Could be anything. I just gotta hope that none of the four cards in their hand gets them out of this particular situation. While you were busy being a bird, I studied the blade. The X-Saber, to be specific. Genis, the Light Sworn Menace. Mender, whatever. All right. This Gladiator Light Sworn deck. I am very confused. I am starting to think this is more of a bot than I expected. At least we win? Yeah, I assume so. Hopefully. There's still a part of me that's like, they're on to something. They're planning something nefarious. Is this 22? We would be... 38. Okay, so this is, this is game if this lands. And it looks like it lands? Okay, I was all worried for nothing. We'll probably skip most of that. I, I'm pretty sure it was a bot. But, um, you know, either way, we summoned X-Saber Urabellum again, so there's that. And we rank up into Silver 3. I almost said Diamond 3, because that's where I'm used to being on the other show, but here, not so much. Okay, we've, we've got to take a look at what the heck this was. Yeah, there's, like, no payoff for, for anything. There's no, like, Chaos cards, there's no Judgment Dragon. Is this, is this some kind of masochist? No, they're a ma- why would they? I have no idea. Either way, a win's a win. Uh, 
Okay. Duel 48, win 19. No cards destroyed. You can skip right from the start of this duel to the end. Um, I'm pretty sure it was a bot and nothing interesting happens. Maybe it was the deck dev mirror. Okay, this is lab pack, I think, number three. Surely we can get something good out of this one, right? No. They're still just giving me one awful thing at a time. Uh, Arsenal Summoner, an Alien card, Ixie Shift, Insectors, Flower Dino, Saryuja Shackles, Big L, a Zoma Spirit. I'll, I'll put this in the deck. It's 1800 beater, does a lot of burn damage. You can often steal games with that. So we got something. It's not like great, but we got it. Uh, target one link monster your opponent controls are in their graveyard. Draw cards equal to its link rating. And if you have two or more cards in your hand, place two. Okay, probably not going to play that one, but we'll, we'll add the Zoma Spirit in there. Zoma is permanent. Won't Zoma be dusted? Yeah. But until then... It'll be useful. Yeah, a lot of play people... Vishuddha. Alright, actually, never mind about the Zoma. I, I don't know why I forgot the premise of the series, but if Zoma gets destroyed and deals the burn damage, then we lose it forever, and I, it's not worth changing the deck back and forth. Uh, we do get a craft, though, and as with before, we're gonna craft another level 7, but this time, instead of a Guan Yun, I don't think we want three of them, because then they can get kind of bricky. We're gonna go for a Vishuda. People have suggested this. It's an R card. If you control no effect monsters, you could special summon it. And then you can banish it from the graveyard to bounce a card. So it's removal, it's extension. It's not much of an attacker, but like, if I get Toon Warrior, I can special summon this and make bar on the floor. So there we go. And in fact, the, the Tenyes might be the way to go with all these normal monsters I have. So let's just go ahead and generate one of those. Throw a Vishuda in there. And we took out, um, fuck, I forget what we took out. It probably wasn't anything important. And this is version 6.6. Opening a pack and crafting a Vishuda. Trap of Spikes, yeah, that's what it was. Oh, we got a mission. You know what they say, another day, another donut. Am I right, brother? Ha-cha-cha-cha-cha. -cha -cha -cha. 
Oh, hey, look, we actually opened with the, the Madam Spider without the trap already. Like, we've had this engine in here this whole time. Engine, it's two cards. But we, we've never actually used it. We've always just drawn both of them. Or we drew the one beforehand. Um, is this, is this fucking Math Mech? I don't think I could beat Math Mech. Not with this hand. Not with any hand, probably. We'll see, maybe they're like really bad at Math Mech? That's one of the things I've noticed from other people's Masochist series. People will be in like silver and gold, and they'll like surrender as soon as they see like a competent deck. And it's like, I don't think you understand how inexperienced silver and gold players are. Oftentimes they'll mess up the combo and surrender, or they'll just completely mess up. Especially in a series where your cards aren't like threatened with destruction. Like I would stick in a lot of those games. Personally, I guess it doesn't matter in silver because like even if you lose, you don't like D rank or anything. But it looks like they kind of know what they're doing and I don't have any removal. So I'm probably just going to surrender this one. Alright, yeah, as soon as I see the circular, yeah, we're good. We're good. I don't stand a chance here. Let's just get out of here. <laughs> go next. Go next. <laughs> the only winning move is not to play. Um, okay, before it gets too late, chat, I'm gonna go make a, I'm gonna make a, uh, I'm gonna make a hot chocolate. Hey, one moment, we're gonna take a little break. I'm gonna put on some music for you. You all like music, don't you? You're big fans of music, right? All right, you enjoy that, chat? Did you have a nice time while I was away making hot cocoa? I see we lost about 20 people, unfortunately. <laughs> oh well, such things happen from time to time. I went and got normie chocolate. Nice. And Kale's asking about the song name. Do you, do you want to know the first one or the... I guess I could just tell you both. If you're watching this on YouTube, we had some, some midstream weather. Ooh, ah. From my playlist of obscure songs, we had Disco Forest by Soul Cat. And that soul spelled S-O-L, like the sun, like Sun Cat, ooh. And then we had uh, There's a Touch by the Proclaimers, who you might know as the, um, fuck, are they Irish or Scottish? I think they're Scottish. I should know this. I can I can always get the I think they're Scottish. But they're the the guys who'd like and I would walk five hundred miles and I would walk five hundred more. But this was like another song they made. I think it's better. I like it. And the earlier one, Soul Cat, I think they're the most obscure band I know. I only know about them because I was working at a Dunkin' Donuts in like 2014 or something. No, it wouldn't have been that late. Been like 2012? Yeah. Either way, I was working at a Dunkin' Donuts in the afternoon and, um, you know, donut shops, not very popular in the afternoon. You're mostly like doing morning business. And like a van pulled up and five guys got out of the van and they had a very peculiar look to them. A lot of them had like long scraggly hair and they were wearing like denim vests and like plaid. 
They, they had a very stylized look to them, and they came in, and my coworker was like, man, you guys look like you're in a band. And they're like, we are in a band. Would you like some of our music? And they're like, sure. And they, like, reached into a backpack, and they had some CDs. And they're like, here, just if you like it, you know, tell people out about it. And my coworker ended up giving them $5 for it, but they were just giving their music away, and they were just going on tour. And I got one of the C after he listened to it, he gave the CD to me. He's like, they're okay. And I thought they were okay too, but I really like that one song. Disco Forest. But it's really interesting to me, like now as a content creator, right? Where I'm like, man, if I get a video and it doesn't do 10,000 views, it feels like it's a failure. And then to, to have this band I listen to and I look at like this, the, the, the song on YouTube and it has like 4,000 views. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, my bad videos do better than this band, unfortunately. And I wish I could be like, I'll take any chance to like give them a shout out, you know, but I think they broke up like two years before I started Yugi tubing, so. <laughs> unfortunately, you cannot go get more, you cannot go see Soul Cat live anymore. At least I don't think anymore. I should probably double check that. We should go check it out sometime. Give them more views. Anyway. Let's jump back into this, shall we? There's like a bug in here. I can see it flying around. I am prepared. If you land on something. Ooh. All right, we're set up. We can Raigeki and then make Barone and then put out a token for no adequately explained reason. We just gotta hope they don't, they're not like a super serial player. Oh no. <laughs> Raigeki is not as effective against Rika. Although at least, you know, they'll hopefully tribute our monsters or steal them and not destroy them. I guess it depends if they have the ability to do all the things. We'll, we'll see what they come up with. Fuck, I was really hoping they would just search a trap and then end on, like, Rika Petal plus a trap. A good beverage. Wait, wait. Things might not be as bad. Okay. 
This is totally beatable. Depending on what that back row is. The, uh, the card, the nega- oh. Oh, thank you. What is it, my birthday? Let's just go ahead, uh, Lightning Storm. Let's just, uh, clear all those back- those pesky back row. Get rid of that. Thank you. Okay. And then let's just, uh, Raigeki. Let's clear all those pesky monsters. And I believe this says they have to control... When your opponent activates a monster effect while you control Orika. Okay. They're like, you can't fire me, I quit! <laughs> oh wait, can this... can this save itself or something? Uh, do do do. If a monster is tributed, get detached, then target one monster in the graveyard, special summon it, negate its effects, it becomes a plant. If a plant would be destroyed, you could tribute one plant from your hand or field instead. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So they can bring it back, but it has no Ixy material. So from here, I can do this, right? Unexpected die, get the Toon Warrior. And then activate the Vishuda. I control no effect monsters, so I can summon this from my hand. Oh, they can negate it with the uh, card in the graveyard. Fuck. Yeah, they're going to negate that. They do have to tribute one of their own monsters, though. And fortunately for me, it negates, but it doesn't destroy. Um, wait, if you control a face-up, not effect, you can banish this to target one card, control. Oh, all right. I can still bounce. Yeah, I mean, they're gonna get the pedal next turn, but I have that. Okay, yeah, we'll just use the other effect then. It sucks that we won't get the Barone out, because that would, like, totally end this. Um... Sure. I'll summon a token. It still counts as a normal monster. Uh, what can I make? Just that? Yeah. All right, Toon Warrior, go in. So they've got the pedal, but we can negate the pedal. At least when it tries to search. It's a uh, once per turn. During your main phase, you can take one Rika and either add it from your deck to your hand. I mean, unfortunately, that's just like a never-ending thing. I think we just have to let that go and then hope we can stop them at some other point. Rosemary. All right. Make another teardrop. Oh, hello. All plants. Okay, so they can make everything a level eight. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, if I negate this, they might make Aroma Seraphy Jasmine and then do more stuff. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, all three! Queen of the Night! Attach one, target one, set spell traps. Uh, while this card is face up on the field, that card can't be activated. 
Target one plant, change it to face down. Target one monster, that target gains. Okay. But I can activate this in response. So they can detach. And then I can chain this. It loses a thousand attack and defense and its effects are negated. And I believe this is permanent. No, it's until the end of the turn. Damn. Fortunately, they could still get over my dude. Yeah, I don't have a lot to beat over this. And they're just going to get back their thing every turn. Yep, I'll take a thousand. Uh, pay the cost? Yes. My only hope is that maybe I can stall with this, but probably not. But we'll see. We'll see. Giving themselves more attack. Okay. And the pedal comes back. Yeah, unfortunately, I just have no way to deal with this, and they just get a searcher every single turn. In a simplified game state, all hope is lost. My only potential is if they somehow make this, like, to 6400 and then attack into the Metal Fiend token, then they'll die instead of me. And the chances of that happening are incredibly slim. I'd say almost zero. But, you know, there's always a chance. Make that bigger, too. All right, will they read the token? Yeah. There's not much coming back here. Yeah, I guess they could make a one material Zeus. I'll see what the top deck is. Just a normal monster. Yeah. Yep, we tried really hard, you know, for a second there, I was like, damn, this deck is maybe way too powerful. Uh, but we still lost to, like, subpar Rika. So, that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. The slow and insidious killer. Ah. No, no high Pearton. What's your opinion on Gizmek? Like as an archetype? Or a dude, like a specific monster. All right, going second once again. Hopefully, we'll get something not quite as powerful as Rika. All right, not bad. We could search a thing. We've got removal. We got a droplet. Called by doesn't really do anything. Giant Rex is a big beater, you know. Ninja, ninja, ninja. If they know what we're doing, I don't think we stand a chance, but it's possible they don't know what they're doing. Uh, 
Uh, it appears they know what they're doing, chat. Sizzle. Duplication. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess let's dig and see if we can find some way out of this problem. Go, six cards! Let's get rid of uh, you, 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 and you two. All right, we got Maxi, we got Chosen, we got Luster, we got Luster, we got Toon Warrior, we got Luster. Uh, this is our only hope. <laughs> it's either that or a bunch of normal monsters. Uh, okay, so what we want to do is bait out this. So we're going to go ahead back to square one. Send off the call of the haunted because it's useless. Shuffle that back. And then if they want to use their dancing leaves, they've got to use it now. Target a monster. And then we can activate Max C and draw a card. And you know, maybe we'll get we'll get a Vashuda or something. And then they'll be able to. I'm I'm guessing Geo, because you want to be able to. This one is the one that like. You tribute a ninja and then summon equal to the levels. I forgot Pot of Prosperity says I can't draw anymore. I have made a mistake. And with that, you know, I think we'll just we'll just call it here. <laughs> I, I haven't used prosperity in so long. Whoopsie-daisy. Whoopsie-daisy, everyone. Gizmek ignored. Well, I didn't want to include a Gizmek discussion in the middle of the episode. And then I forgot. Alright, we've got loyal Guan Yun and some normal monsters and a trap with a normal monster and something to destroy back row and it's tier limit. And it's tier limit. Oh, and they they opened with the Perlerino, and yeah, you know, let's just go next. Oh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, Gizmak, uh, they're bar they're like barely an archetype. Like, the, the three or four monsters that they released before they made it a full archetype um, don't have hardly anything to do with each other. They're like all boss monsters for different decks, it feels like. The only thing they had in common was that they were machines that have the same attack and defense. So all the smaller Gizmek cards are like, they'd ever say, like, search a Gizmek. They say, search a machine with, like, the same attack as its defense. And they don't really, like, 
do anything. They just get you to those other monsters. Uh, and the only real good one is the Sky Serpent, which even that is not all that good. I saw that fly again. It's somewhere around here. I think I see it on the wall. There's a fly on the wall. I could get it, but I just entered a duel. And I've got a decent hand. Wait, actually I have no, no pressure whatsoever. I just have back row removal. Huh. Uh, sure, we'll lash that. Why not? That keeps you off of everything, right? End your turn. Maybe you're one of those like back row heavy. No, they can still do other stuff. Goaty, they might be a fish deck. We'll see. Uh, I'm going to try to get this in the middle of the duel. We'll see what happens. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. What did I miss? Oh, Ragna Zero? Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. So Ragna Zero is target a face-up attack position monster that has attack different from its original attack. So I think what we do, our attack will be the same. We just lightning storm the back row. Destroy all the spell traps. Full armored Ixie. If an Ixie is on the field immediately after this resolves, Ixie summon. Da da da. Uh, do do do. You can banish this, then target one Ixie you control, equip one other Ixie from your face up field to the graveyard. To that monster is an equipped spell. They don't have another Ixie on the field. So we just go for Guan Yun, right? Hello there. I am a Guan. You! All right, and then we just Ring of Destruction and hope this can protect loyal Guan, you know? Well, that's unfortunate. This is undustable, but uh, whatever they make they can get over Guan Yu and is going to absolutely destroy that. Oh, okay. I don't know why you would do that, but fine. <sighs> I got all removal and no pressure. I want to make them under pressure. Looking down on me, looking down on you. Hey, babe, that's rough. All right, we just got to hope.
All right, that's what we like to see. All right, we'll draw a card. So if they get rid of this, then unexpected die and evenly matched might be good. I feel like the evenly is not going to be good because clearly the cards aren't doing a whole bunch. Uh, they're in a bad way right now. So what I'm going to do is back to square one. We're just going to send off the evenly and we're going to put this back on top of their deck so we can get in for 25. And because it puts it on top of their deck, we've essentially just yada locked them again where they're now drawing into the same four cards they had last time, which couldn't out this. Presumably they will set the same card and then I can back to square one it again. And if I have any other monster, then it'll be gay. <laughs> Come on, any monster, I just need a monster. Yes, all right. Let's go, baby. That is a nice card you have there. It would be a shame if you went back to square one. <laughs> and then we just lost our dragon. <laughs> Even when I don't get Yadagarasu, my opponent is caught in an endless Samsara of torture. <laughs> Optimal. <laughs> Oh, I am I am a very rude gentleman, let me tell you. But there we go. We get another win finally after several surrenders. Uh, let's go. Let's go get our pack. Duel fifty three. Uh, no, not loss. Win twenty. Rude, that was optimal. All right, another Labyrinth pack. Uh, this is like the fourth. Okay, this one's got like an SR in it. That's something. Maybe we get like an Ariane or something. Got a Raid Raptor. Got uh, some kind of ritual monster. Ally of Justice, Quillbolt Hedgehog, might be useful, probably not, but maybe. We've got so many of these. Another Soul Scissors, a Shand- hey, at least we got one Labyrinth card, and... Why did this shine yellow? There wasn't a yellow in here at all! Well, that's unfortunate, but at least we got- we got some more stuff. Uh, we're not gonna make any changes to the deck. Oh wait, we still got a craft. Yeah, let's go make another Vashuda real quick. Me when the game lies. of Ashuda and normal monsters by attack that we own. Yeah, I guess we just put this as another level four. Unless, do we, are there any other normal tuners? No, it's just that one. Beckoned. Oh, that's his name. Other level four tuners. I'm curious. Um, I 
These are normal, so we could maybe craft like one of these. This is a good like level four, so it allows us to go into more stuff. And it also gives us some recompense if our cards are destroyed. You know, now that I'm looking at it, a 10 e deck might be good. This is going to take longer than expected to build the Labyrinth deck. 10 e might be a good normal rare thing to play in the meantime. But we'll get to that when we get to it. All right, so as I said, whoop, okay. And then jewels, I guess, just start it when I do the craft. Ding, there we go, another Vashuda. Deck's really coming along. You know, we were looking at the Tenyis. Uh, the, 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 the Labyrinth is taking a lot longer to come together than I expected. We might make that in the interim because most of the monsters in there are normal and rare. And we have a bunch of normal monsters from the, the starter deck. So that might be a good like middle ground deck that we can use our N and R points on while saving the UR and SR for the lab eventually. Uh, for now though, we're still doing pretty good. I think I added that in and I added in a Beckon. We took out something else, I forget what. Again, probably not very important, but uh, let's let's see what we can do. The pendulums that bounce themselves? No. The the spirit pendulums, you mean? What good would those be? Angel Trumpeter? Yeah, that might be a good one to consider. Yeah, pendulums are only good if you have a whole bunch of them. Is the unfortunate thing. Alright. We've got the Barone line. We've also got Guan Yun. We've got something to go with our normal monsters if we need to take things slower. Again, we don't want, unlike regular Yu-Gi-Oh, where you want to put your strongest monsters out as soon as possible to give you an advantage, I don't really want to put the Barone in a, a uh, difficult place, a risky place, I think that would be the better, a vulnerable place, until uh, we're certain that we can win the game. Uh, looks like we're playing at Ignister. So this is one of those decks that uh, if they know what they're doing, there's absolutely no way we can beat it because they have like a 6,000 attack towers which our deck has no out to. But it's silver too, so perhaps they don't know what they're doing. Let's find out. We have a combo, we do. It's Toon Warrior and Vishuda. a radian uh, I don't think it's I don't think towers are that important this low
Is it similar to Cyber Dragon? No, it starts a chain. There's a colon there. So you can, you activate it, and then they get a chance to, like, activate Max C or whatever. Oh, okay, there we go. I was like, hello? Um, does anyone know how Adagnister works? I feel like they're not doing it right. They banished the Dark Infant. And also they made that. Okay, now they've got the Templar. Okay. Well, I'll actually let them summon a rival. I was going to say, how, how do you get your, uh, your Sigma out? Trans rights in the chat.
This board is not that good. I, th I think it still beats whatever I want to do. Did he get super factorial? No, he grabbed equation. the towers if I draw evenly matched I think that stops them right just in time buddy I'm glad you could make it <laughs> you came to the party okay quick effect you could target cards your opponent controls or in their graveyard up to the number of different return them to the hand uh, once per turn, quick effect, you can target monsters, return them to the hand, and then when your opponent activates a monster effect, you can remove, negate the activation, and if this effect was activated between this card's attack and the end of the damage step, this can make another attack. Um... Do, do, do. This activates... All right, so they've got one of monster activation. Okay, let's try this. I don't think I have a chance, but maybe if I disrupt their board like a little bit, they'll quit. <laughs> uh, we can already normal summon that, so I guess we just get the luster dragon. Big attack. Um Oh, if only I thought if this if your opponent controls more monsters than you. Well then. Um Let's normal summon. I should have done this first. Uh special summon. Okay, so they can negate that. What's taking so long? They're trying to calculate some stuff out. All right, so that's negated, but not destroyed. But we can use the other effect. Uh, banish this, target one card, return it to the hand. So we can just bounce that back. Bye-bye. Have a wonderful time. Oh, this is not once per turn. So they have two monster effects. I don't know. I don't know why I stuck in this game. Even if I outed this, they have like five cards and stuff in the graveyard. They're going to be able to do it. I'm just wasting my time here. These are both undustable. We're fine. I'm not going to I'm not going to lose Guan Yun on this this like lost cause. Uh, duel, 54, loss, 31, um, uh, skip or fast forward after I say we'll see what they make. 
You don't even have to stop once my turn begins. You can just skip right to the end where I realize I'm being foolish. <laughs> Gold players, I wish. We're in silver, buddy. <laughs> None of our go second cards were versus Ice Jade. Do you, do you think they'll be playing Ice Jade's chat? That's not an Ice Jade card. That's not an Ice Jade card at all. Okay, I don't think I got beat branded. Uh, we did finally get the combo, Ring of Destruction with Speed Burst Dragon. That's funny, you know. But if they make fucking um, Mirror Jade, I think we just we just surrender. I uh, we don't have an out to Mirror Jade that doesn't destroy our entire deck. Well, I guess Punishment does. But I mean, Branded's like one of the best, the like the top three decks in the whole game. If they have any clue about what they're doing. Which, it doesn't look like they do. This might be more Despia than Branded. I guess, I guess we'll try it. We'll see what we can get to. I don't think they have anything that destroys our punishment. So, I don't think there's any, like, harm in trying it out. Twenty-two. All right. I mean, this is going to be an asshole to get through, regardless. Oh, I guess we got Pot of Prosperity, Lightning Storm, or Evenly would both be very good here. Even if it cost us six hundred. Let's see if we can dig for something good. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get to that. Droplet, called by Stegosaur, Raigeki, Vishuda. Uh, yeah. Let's just get the Raigeki, shall we? I don't want to have to deal with your shit. Get it all out of here. Bye bye. Oh wait, they have they have that. All right, well. Let's try this then. Yeah, and they have, no, they already used, they already banished branded opening for something. Battle phase, um, yeah, we just Ring of Destruction here. I'm tired of taking 600 for everything. Bye-bye. That did some damage. Uh, why didn't my Speed Burst activate? This was supposed to special summon from the hand and inflict damage equal to the damage they took. Was this not a combo? The it was it the when? No, it's. I guess is it because I take the damage and then they take the damage? It's not simultaneous. Well, we finally got the combo, and it's not even the combo we thought it was. 
That's fine. I know this can summon itself. What is the thing? Um, if your opponent controls a Ritual, Fusion, Synchro, Ixie, or Link. Okay, well, let's not do that. Let's just summon a normal monster. They thought about that for a minute. Battle phase. Take 19. And then we'll just set another one. End phase. No! Why must you destroy my punishments? Oh, it's been so long since we lost a card. Goodbye, Dogmatica Punishment. I'm sad now. Fallen of Albaz. And then you can Fusion Summon. Yeah, what is... It's an R, so we can rebuild a Punishment if we want. At this point, I'm not sure if it's worth it. Oh, hey. It's Fallen of Albaz. You don't have a card to discard for that. All right. It's unfortunate that we're losing to such a poorly designed deck. All right, uh, another Toon Warrior. I guess we could set it. Might as well. We got another one if we need it. I'll stick in this. Maybe we can Lightning Storm, get rid of all those back row. Then draw Vashuda and go into all our big plays. As long as we got this, anytime we draw Vashuda, we're good. How goes the masochism? Uh, we just lost our second uh, Dogmatica punishment. At least it's a shiny one, so we get more points from it. Got something good? The third Toon Warrior. <laughs> well, I could set it just like last time.
Okay, now surely we can't draw another Toon Warrior. We've gotten all three. This has to be something useful. There we go. Oh, uh, okay. So part of me wants to be like, this back row hasn't done anything for them. It's not doing anything. We can get rid of this and then, then start attacking. But I know if we get rid of this, if a face-up non-fusion fairy leaves the field, <laughs> target one level later, higher in your graveyard, and special summon it. So they just get back like this. So let's just blow up all the spell traps. Shadal Schism. I wasn't expecting that, I'll be honest. And the Cold Buy, which is not going to be any use to them, and that. Okay, so we want to keep the Toon Warrior because, again, if we draw the Vishuda, then that unlocks everything. We can bounce this, we can get a Barone, we can be good. We just gotta hope that they fade a draw step. I don't want to set it again and pass. We're either gonna draw it next turn and win, or we're gonna die here on our feet. Well, fuck. <laughs> they just got the theater back. Oh, and they can fusion summon. Yeah, anything on board is game. Well, maybe they're... No, they're using their hand. What the heck? Protecting spirit. Yeah, it's just another masquerade. Unfortunate. Ugh. Three, thirty-two. Duel 55, loss 32, shiny dogmatica punishment destroyed, uh, there's a lot of long pauses, skip liberally. Hey hard leg, hello crimson pac-man. Okay. What does this one do? No effect monsters. You could special summon this from your hand. Sure, it's a level four. All right, so we lost our shiny Dogmatica punishment. Goodbye. At least we get more R points. So that's gone. And we realized that this was a Nambo all along, so that's gone. So we need two replacements. I know one of them is going to be Nahata. We'll just put this. We already had this from before, so we might as well put it in. And then we just need one more card. I guess we should put in another trap to make up for the lost punishment or maybe a spell. Let's look real quick and see what we can come up with. Engraver? Or we don't have an engraver. Yeah.
Ah, uh, fuck it. I want some more dust. Let's put in Zoma Spirit. It probably won't survive, but if nothing else, it's another rank 4 for a rank 4 collection. Deck Dev version 6.8. Let's let's jump back in. Now, as far as the tennies go, Um, the green one gives you 1500 attack, the red one negates targeting, and the blue one says if you're destroyed, destroy the monster that destroy, or destroy a card and then bring it back. That'll be good if we, uh, if, if it turns out that we're allowed to get the, um, whatchamacallits. Uh, right now on the newest episode, I asked people if we should add a rule where if a card gets revived by the end of the duel, it doesn't count as being destroyed. If that becomes true, then the blue ten e suddenly becomes really good. But if they say no, then it's nigh useless. It becomes ultra good, because it can save the monk. Alright, going second. We got the Raigeki and the evenly matched. Neither of those are um, safe cards, so if they've got like a whole bunch of sets or whatever, we, we could always run into trouble. But this is about a, a fairly optimal hand. And we got our Ash, which is a safe card. Oh, great. The one... To I get evenly against the decks that are going to set one pass. Alright, we got our final punishment. Giant Rex can't attack directly, so we're just running out the Luster Dragon. And then we'll go to battle. And we'll hit him with 1900. Alright. Oh. Dark Horizon! When you take battle, special summon a dark spellcaster from your deck with attack less than or equal to the damage you took. And I can't ash this because it's in the damage step. What will they get? I just noticed they're on a 60 card deck, by the way. Magician Souls. Uh, alright. I don't think I want to Raigeki that, but I also don't want them to draw and get stuff in the graveyard. Hmm. Yeah, there's not much we can do about it. Let's just set this. Oh yeah, we have Ash for the draw part. We'll f we're fine. If they send two spell traps off, hopefully those spell traps won't do anything. Bunny. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's like that, is it? All, all right. Well, in that case... Um... I could set the ash, or summon the ash, and that would give us seven. We don't have a way to attack them directly. Well, actually... Fuck, we would have to get rid of our punishment. So if they had anything else, we'd have no way to get rid of it. And we'd have to get rid of the ash. But you know what? We've been doing this all day. Let's go ahead and be mean, chat. Let's see if the meanness works out for us. 
Let's send, uh, I don't know. I mean, we're not making this anyway. We'll normal summon the Ash Blossom. And... Punishment locks you out of the extra deck. What am I thinking? <laughs> I keep forgetting how punishment works. Well, you get you get taken for zero. Okay, mistakes were made all around. It's fine. The ash is undecraftable. Uh, you know, my my little brother was playing. Sun was in my eyes. If we survive until next turn, we can make Urabellum then. Another one. Dark Magician! Okay, I'm pretty sure this came from the thing, right? Yeah. Now, hopefully that's not Eternal Soul. All right, they're going for the Luster Dragon. Good, good, yes. Okay, we get a, we get a second attempt at this, chat. Never mind. Fusion in the damage step with Black Luster Soldier. Master of Chaos! Target one, light or dark in your graveyard, summon it. You could tribute one. Fuck. Am I just dead here? Should I have activated the Fiend Sanctuary when I had the chance? I don't think that's game. It's a lot, but it's not game. Alright, goodbye, Ash. I'm pretty sure that's un un undustable. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do this now. If this is Eternal Soul, they can't activate it, so these aren't unaffected. And if they keep the Eternal Soul, then these two are banished, so they have nothing to resurrect. Goodbye! Fortunately, Giant Rex can't attack directly, so... There's no point really in putting it out. And I take a thousand damage every turn from this, so there's no point in putting it out. Um, I guess, do we put this out just to prevent them from attacking us directly? Uh, they would have to have something with like exactly 2,000, then we wouldn't be able to ring up destruction. Yep, let's just pass here. Gaga Ga Magician. And a set card. Uh, if I don't activate this now, I'll never be able to. Let's just do it now. Puts us both closer to death. One step closer to the edge, and I'm about to break! Alright, what do we got here? Yes! I was about to say, I think the only thing that saves us here is unexpected die. 
Uh, do we have a rank four with a more than enough tack? No. Everything requires. I think we just go for the series mascot. But unless they have a, an ash here, we should be good. And it seems like... Well, what, what was it? I was going to say... It seems like they're playing the... Um, uh, yeah, let's get this one. I was going to say, it seems like they're playing the starter deck, but the starter deck doesn't have 60 cards. Uh, what level is the token? One. Gains 200 attack for every Link monster in the graveyard. 26 is not enough. Add 1,000 knives. They have to control one, right? Uh, let me rethink my strategy then. It only destroys a monster. I could make... No, I, that would be... Well... If I made Exiton... Your main phase or your opponent's battle phase... Hmm... Crooked Cook for safety, that's not safe. They can just beat over it. Exiton would be able to blow up everything, because they have more cards than me. Especially if I activated Fiend Sanctuary. It's a risky maneuver, but I think we're going to go for it. Go, Exciton Knight! Go to the battle phase, we attack. I'm not even going to use it, I'm going to wait for them to go. Uh, yeah. Because if they don't get a Dark Magician, this doesn't do anything. We'll just, we'll just pass. If they go into the battle phase, we can blow up the entire field that includes the Eternal Soul. So whatever they have on the field will be destroyed. Unless they attack the token, in which case they take the damage. The only worry is that they'll they'll summon uh or they'll they'll activate not activate, but they'll get a uh, dark magical circle. But even then, then they banish the Exiton, so I lose, but I don't uh, lose the Exiton. Also, comment in the comments, Exiton or Exciton? Oh, they're going, they're going everything. Target one monster and destroy it. They went for the token! Battle phase? Exciton. Eternal Soul. They had they had their chance. They could have they could have done the thing. Why they used it on the to oh to be fair, if they take out the Exciton. Then they can't attack the token. But then when it comes around to my standby phase, I have to get rid of the token or lose a thousand life points. Now I have to decraft the token. Oh no. Yeah! <laughs> We brought out the Exciton and it paid off, baby! We did it! We don't have to decraft it! And we go up into Silver 2. That's what you want to do. Um, although, real quick, we do have to check. The Ash is safe. Okay, we can't dismantle the Ash. Okay, good. Uh, nothing else was destroyed in that battle, right? 
Uh, these are safe. Uh, the evenly went off fine. Everything was used. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, 356. Duel 56. Uh, win 21. Connection failed. They, they turn off the game for today. All right, we're going once more. This might be the final pack for tonight, and oh boy. I am realizing, you know, I was like, oh, this might be too easy if I can craft stuff. If I can open up whatever packs I want, go into the secret packs. But even doing that, I don't think our, our chances of building anything. Target one special summon monster on either field. Send it to the graveyard and special summon a level four lower normal monster from your hand. You don't say. Well, that that might be pretty good thing to put into uh, you know, my my normal monster deck. And I know we get a flower dino every time. And and it's, it's, we're not getting like any any labyrinth cards whatsoever. But we'll we'll add the Faustian bargain in there. Let's see here. All right, we're gonna take out one of the back to square ones. As neat as that is, it requires us to discard a card and we don't really have much advantage at the moment from discarding a card. So, oh wait, um, we get to craft one too. Yeah, I think we get rid of this finally. A uh, normal card. I think Nahata is probably the best. Or maybe the field spell? Go blue. Blue only works when our cards are destroyed and we don't want them destroyed. Oh, Ashuna can get me to the other one. It worm locks us. Yeah, and we're not playing Monk and stuff. Yeah, that's a good point. Being locked is fine as long as you've got the bounce. I don't think it is. I'd argue flawless.
I feel like we need more monsters. It's between these two. It's between the blue and the green. Or the red and the green. They're all terrible. They're not that terrible. Oh, we'll use our normal points. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we've decided to get rid of one of the back to square ones. As as decent as it is, it requires to us to discard a card, and at the moment we don't have a whole lot of discards. We might put it back in as we build more of the tennies, but for now I think Faustian Bargain is better. It's kind of a two card combo, like it requires us to have a normal monster in our hand, but we're playing like 12 normal monsters, so I feel like we've got a pretty good shot of doing this. As for our one craft, we're going to use some normal dust and we're going to make a Tenyi Spirit Nahata. I think this one is the most useful at our current level with our current rule set. Put that in there. It just makes us a little more consistent. Uh, if we get up more, we might make a Shunna. People are talking about this. The problem with it is that it locks us into worms. And right now we don't have nearly enough worms to actually make that work. We're still using stuff like Guan Yun and Giant Rex uh, to get things done. But maybe as we keep building these up with the normal and rare points, we might do that eventually. We'll see. Either way, this is version 6.9. Nice. Let's go ahead back in for a couple more duels. Uh, even if we had, like, we haven't, we haven't drawn this in, like, 20 games or whatever. <clears throat> Pardon me. We got Unexpected plus Vashuda. Again, this is like the combo. We keep getting the combo and then we go against, against decks where like they have one negate. And that's really what this loses to. Like any negate and we're screwed. And they're playing the new, the new Red Dragon Archfiend stuff. And we don't have any of our field nukes this time. So, I mean, there's a chance we draw one. And maybe then we'll be good. Or maybe they mess up and they can't summon stuff. We'll see. You know, I'm thinking at this point... Well, no, I think we still... Well, for a second, I was like, maybe we want to go first if we've got the Barone. But, again, we, we really don't want to, like, go first and make a Barone and then have it die. Because um, we can't surrender with it on the field. I really prefer to go second so we can see what we're up against and then decide if we want to stay in the duel or not. So we'll see. We'll see. Here comes the level six. Yeah, I'm aware of it. Red Rising. It's like Dead Rising, but with fundamental differences.
And here comes a giant fist! Need Monarch support? No. Yeah, they've got one negate and I've got nothing. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get out of this one. Nothing we could do here. Too strong for me. Just skip to the end after I say we'll see. Oh, fundamental differences? That's from uh, You Don't Know Jack. Trivia game. All right, we've got the token. The token has yet to work, but I feel like people like play around it and sometimes that stalls or helps us. I mean, it helped with the Exiton game. Like, if we didn't do that, our Exiton would be dead and that duel would be lost most likely. We're going up against Diego, one for one. Okay, I was gonna be like, if I see a snake eye, I am going to be upset. But it doesn't look like snake eye. It looks like they're playing some tuna. I don't think this is Goaty. A lot of fishy decks this episode. Oh, I stand corrected. <laughs> Goaty is here. They're on pace for greatness. Oh no. <laughs> okay, maybe this isn't Goaty after all. Super ancient deep sea king, Coelacanth. Discard ice barrier. Yeah, this is, if you don't know, discard a card, special summon as many fish as possible from the deck. Their effects are negated. They can't activate stuff, but I mean, um, you know, who needs that when you could just synchro and link row spam a whole bunch? But who knows? Maybe they'll run out of time. Maybe they'll mess up. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll draw evenly. Things could happen. We'll see what they do. Nopios. Maybe we'll die. Entirely possible. I got the whole lotion behind me. Zion TC. Ravenous Crocodragon. Dragon. I'll be dragging my cock across. <laughs> I'm just gonna stop there. That's a fish? Yeah, it's in the ocean. Got big wingling things. Editor, leave that in, no. No, don't. Ice Jade Gym Teacher. Uh, you can activate this. Monsters cannot be destroyed or banished by your opponent's card effects this turn. 
And if you activated this in response and the opponent has a card in the graveyard, you can banish that. Alright, so I can like, Ring of Destruction and then Chain Phantasm Spiral and like, negate it. Of course that's all assuming that uh, they don't they don't summon a whole bunch of goaty stuff, but it looks like they're gonna summon a whole bunch of goaty stuff. Nine. Trishula? More like Fishula, am I right? Oh, no, never mind. They're just banishing it to get the field spell back. Oh? Reasoning. Uh, let's see. What am I worried about them getting? Uh, probably another level four. Let's say four. Goodbye. Nope, I should have did two. Two was the next choice. Coral Dragon, then go into White Aura Bahamut. Yeah. What's our, I mean, there's still a chance we draw Raigeki or Evenly or Lightning Storm. But I think it has to be like exactly, I that even, right, it has to be exactly Evenly. Like, if we get evenly, we're good, and anything else, we're dead. Have they made a single negate? Nope. They're locked into fish. White aura whale? Okay. All right, they've made a field. Will I draw the evenly that gets rid of everything? Close. <laughs> Unfortunately, this could stop itself from being destroyed. Um, do, do, do. if this card is destroyed while you control a token, you can summon that, but I'll destroy the token. This'll come back. That'll go. I mean, we can clear some stuff. They've got to be low on time after everything. Maybe it's worth activating Raigeki to see what happens. They've got, like, no negates, right? This banishes and makes itself unaffected. So, yeah, let's try that. Raigeki. Bye-bye. That's a nice field you built there. Let's get rid of several of those. None of them? 
Oh, it's face up monsters you control. I thought it I thought it was just this card. It protects the whole board. Yeah, I needed to set this. Okay, yeah, I had no chance of winning this. Let's let's just get out of here. I wasted my time. <laughs> Evenly would have bit it. No. No, it wouldn't have. Uh, quick effect. Activate this effect. Face-up monsters cannot be destroyed or banished by your opponent's card effects this turn. So, Evenly would have done the exact same thing. I thought it was this face-up monster you control. Somehow I put a phantom this in there. Evenly forces the player to do it. It's still my card effect, though. Well, I guess we'll find out someday. All right, what do we got here? Once more, we have the ability to make Barone. Uh, our opponent's name is Gibberish. So, you know, that's good. Maybe a bot of some kind. I'll take a, I'll take a free, free win. I could use it after those last couple duels. Branded Discipline, or is that Disciple? Yeah, Branded Disciple. When a monster activated by your opponent's resolved, if the opponent's monster has zero attack and defense, and you control a level eight or higher Fiend Fusion, you can negate that. And Jurigetto. I am very confused. What is this? Isn't Jurigetto the guy who played the Joker? Not quite. I think you're confusing that with Jared Leto. <laughs> uh, bu -bu -bu. Yeah, let's start with the things that are safe first. And let's just go ahead and bring out Beckoned. Let's beckon him forth. Go Giant Rex. Uh, we can overlay and make a whole bunch of stuff. I think we do more damage just attacking like this, though. Blast held by destiny. When your opponent's monster declares an attack, destroy it with the highest attack. And if you do, inflict damage equal to its original attack. Well, goodbye, Giant Rex. I hardly knew ye. Sometimes that's just how life is, chat. You, one moment you're talking to your friend, next thing you know, they're dead. <laughs> Go on! And, you know, if, if the rules were changed so that revived monsters were, um, were rescued, if you could rescue monsters from the graveyard, we might be able to get them back. 
But at the time of recording, that episode just premiered today, so we don't have the verdict yet. But we'll know by the next session whether or not I'm allowed to uh, save monsters from the graveyard. Oh, the misery. Ra's Disciple. All right, do you have up to two Ra's Disciple from your hand and or deck? I feel like you're a bot who does not have any cohesiveness to their cards. Uh, maybe I'm wrong here. Yeah, I guess we'll see what you got. Two more Ra's. Ra, Ra, Rasputin, lover of the Russian queen. They summon Slifer from their hand. Up to two. They didn't want to go up to two, chat. They just wanted one. They're like, we'll bring him a buddy. We'll get two. Okay. Sure. Battle phase. Yeah, this is this is just a bot. Here, do you want a bigger do you want a bigger attack target? You can redirect your attack there. Joe, do you mutant archetype? Do I want it? Yeah, they're just going for the bigger, bigger damage. This is the highest value giant Rex in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh. I mean, only because my opponent is a robot. Beep boop. Why is the bot so slow? So that it seems like it's thinking about stuff. Do you like the mutant archetype? Not really. They never really interested me. All right. The thing is, they've activated traps and destroyed stuff, so I don't want to just put out more monsters. Even if I could win the game quickly, I don't feel like I have anything to fear from them. Oh, and I can't win quickly anyway. Yeah, I should have overlaid. I forgot this can't attack directly. I got distracted by their botness! What the heck is this? Continue your main phase? Uh... Uh, yes. Okay, we'll just rectify that, that problem before. Normal summon Nahata. Make fucking Ignister. Ignister! Battle 
phase. Okay, just get me out of here. I'm done with this exact game. Stupid bot! You made the game boring, but I guess we'll take we'll take whatever wins we can get. You know, let's go ahead and open I the one more pack. Duel fifty nine. Uh, win twenty two. Giant Rex destroyed. Um, after Giant Rex gets destroyed. And I talk about the ambulance rule. You can skip ahead to the end. Okay. A secret mission has appeared? Your opponent monsters attack, your opponent takes the damage. Gotcha. All right, this is our last attempt at the, okay. All right, this is our last attempt at the labyrinth pack before, um, all right, this is our last attempt at the Labyrinth pack before this, the secret pack runs out. We, we at least got an SR in here. Can we get something good for the deck we're trying to build? Please? Just one thing? Oh, hey! We've got, we've got two shiny cards. Could it be what we want? Uh, we got a Ritual Spell, Eva Tile, another Plague Spreader. Tsukiyomi's not awful. Hey, we got a Stovey Torby. We needed two of those. We got, like, the fourth one of those. Okay, what's our SR? Anything good? F. F's in the chat. And what's our UR? Hey! There we go! Lady Labyrinth of the Silver Castle! That's at least something. That's this one UR we needed. Okay, today wasn't a complete loss. We at least got something. Uh, we still need, like... All of the, all of the, uh, the, the welcome labyrinths. We still need the field spell. We still need so many things, but at least we got something. It's gonna be a long road before we have anything even, like, remotely playable. But we're still going pretty good for now. Giant Rex is a normal. Flawless and mildly fits. Uh, maybe, possibly. We'll see. For now, I want to replace a level 4 with another level 4. Why are you playing Giant Rex? Because it's a big beater. Yeah, I think I'm going to get uh, two of these, two of these, two of these. And then we'll we'll reevaluate our deck next time. The quick play, I don't want to spend an SR point on that, especially at the end of the, the session. We'll start looking at the spell traps next time. Or maybe the extra deck monsters. Uh for now, yeah. All right, and as for the final change to our deck for now, our uh, Giant Rex is one for the ages. Goodbye. Your service was well rendered. And we'll trade them out for the uh, Mapura. 
I'm just trying to get a little bit of all of the tennies, just kind of filling it out, although we don't have any normal points now. We may have to do a grinder again to get more normal points. We have a whole bunch of normal cards. I wasn't breaking them down because nothing in the Labyrinth deck required it, but this has a lot of like, if we can get a bunch of normal monsters and flawless protection, and maybe this like counter trap and like a monk of the tenny, we might be in pretty good shape. I mean, Berserker's a normal rare too. Just having all these in the graveyard to protect this is a pretty good strategy, especially because those monsters in the graveyard won't be destroyed. You can't destroy a card that's already dead. So that might be something to look forward to next time as we're dual building these, these tenyes and the labyrinth. Uh, for now though, I think we're good. Next time you see me, I'll, I'll probably be in another shirt. <gasps> Four thirty-three, uh, crafting and decrafting. You can't kill me. I'll kill me. But yeah, let's look real quick. It's the Yang Zing. Yeah, it would take one SR, but we could get a Yazi and a Boxia. Or I guess I could just look, uh, what are the worm synchros? We got Draco Berserker. So that's one. I mean, this would be, this effectively can't be destroyed if we just make a Cheng Ying. Unless its effect is negated. I'm not sure, but we don't, again, the whole point of this deck is building essentially an NR deck. Oh yeah, and this is version 6.10. Let's go ahead real quick. Create new N slash R 10 E. Like, if we're going to do this, we could be like... Tribute one worm, add one worm from your deck to your hand. If you tribute an effect, you could special summon it instead, but negate its effects. in there. Embrace the floodgates. I don't have any floodgates. And probably they're going to get banned. Your worm monster battles an opponent that was special summoned from the extra deck. You could destroy both that opponent's monster and this card. During the main phase, quick effect, tribute one monster, special summon this card. Yeah, that don't do anything. Mare Mare underscore. Doom, 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 doom. Uh, we could do like
Angel Trumpeter, uh, what's it called? Yeah, like this would be possible to build. How's the hardest of legs? I'm doing all right, just about to end for the night. Just something to consider. Like, we could build towards this and then just replace all the uh, monsters we don't have with, like, normal monsters until we get more. So that's something to consider for next time. Yeah, we've still got the far future. We've got the one Stovey Torby. We've got one Ariana. And we've got one Lady Lab. We still got our one Dogmatica Punishment <laughs> left over. Uh, the other thing to consider, though, is that with how long this is taking, next week we may want to spend our time opening this in the hopes that we can get transaction rollback and like red reboot uh book of eclipse book of lunar eclipse uh book of moon fiendish chain paleozoic canadia just all the all the flip cards flip cards stuff we can break down Red Resonator might be okay. Unfortunately, all these URs are like stuff that we'll never be able to use. Uh, we didn't use, this was our last chance to do this. Maybe we should have spent today doing this, but I wanted, I thought once we got to the Labyrinth pack, it would be a lot easier, but we didn't pull like hardly any Labyrinth cards out of it. But the rest of the cards in here are like nigh useless. It's where we got all our giant Rexes. Okay. It's good cards turbo. It is in the, the ultra rare slot. The reason, like, we, we tried opening that before, but the problem with it was that most of what you're getting is... Normal and rare cards. And most of the normal and rare cards in here are like stuff that we can't use. You know, it's like uh, Branded Souls, it's Exo Sisters, Witch Crafters, One Off Preta Plant cards, Cheese Night Mouse, The Unchained that are like the opposite of this, this uh, entire series. The Battling Boxers in the other pack. Now, we're our goal is to eventually get to Master 1. And I think the, the best deck for this series that is both long-lasting 
um, can avoid uh, being destroyed and is powerful enough to reach Master One is Labyrinth. So we're trying to build towards Labyrinth. It's just taking a while. But yeah, if you enjoyed this, we do this, uh, I do this every Friday. It's called the, uh, the Deck Devastation Challenge. If you didn't know, if you're just coming in, it's like a combination of a masochist challenge and a nuzlocke. I, I have to start from a fresh account. I only get one pack and one craft every time I win. And every time a card's destroyed in a duel, it's destroyed for real. Can you use Penguin Brave at some point? Probably not. <laughs> not in this challenge, at least. Because it's like a flip... It's, it's not a flip monster, but it works with flip monsters, and flip monsters are, like, doomed to be destroyed. So we play this ever... I stream this every Friday, and then we edit up the streams. They get uploaded as a weekly series. That series is on episode three. So if you want to catch up with everything, it's over on my YouTube. YouTube.com slash Gaming. Go and get that link in there. And again, please, you know, if you haven't checked it out, that uh, that series could get some more love. The more views it gets, the more the more likely I am to finish it. We're gonna give it like a couple months to see if we can start getting stuff because I feel like it's an evergreen series. You know, you could start it whenever, but uh, if it doesn't pick up eventually, then I'll probably just end it and do like a regular masochist series, which everyone seems to want. Even though, I th the thing I'm noticing about masochist series is that the beginning can be pretty compelling when you're having to build with like jank, but then once you get to gold, all pro you just hit like a brick wall. Because it's impossible to build anything coherent, and you need a coherent deck to get into like platinum. You know, you've got, uh, I wish playing this on, on uh, his streams, and he's got up, he's up to like 500 duels, like he's outpaced Simo by a long shot. And he's like, you know, I've been opening master packs over and over again, but I haven't gotten anything new or good in the last like four weeks. <laughs> with, the, with the card pool as big as it is, there's just nowhere to go eventually. This, the whole point of this series was that hopefully it would be one that could actually get to Master 1 eventually, even if it was going to be very, very difficult. But we will see. And you know, if you don't like this series, I'm still doing the, um, the ladder climb, my monthly ladder climbs. Those are Tuesday and Thursday. I'm just climbing with regular decks. We're just having a regular time. And that'll be, uh, whatchamacallit... The Snake Eye Ladder Climb will be up tomorrow in like 12 hours. So keep an eye on that. If you like the big long ladder climb videos, you'll be getting another one soon.